How am I so nostalgic for this song when I have not played this game before? It's almost like I've heard it so many times. I, I told myself when I was playing Dragon Quest XI <laughs> that I shouldn't put on the Dragon Quest VIII theme or else I get sick of it by the time I play VIII. I have not gotten sick of it, thank goodness. Welcome everybody to what is now basically a yearly tradition for me. Two years ago I played Dragon Quest V. Last year I played Dragon Quest XI for half the year. And today, January 12th, I'm starting Dragon Quest VIII. Basically having me play the three games that people say are the best Dragon Quest, so let's see if that's true. This is a game that I've always kind of been aware of, even back in the PS2 era when it was, you know, a brand new game at the time. I just, I just hadn't been into Dragon Quest at the time. And I do own, I did actually own a legal copy of this game on 3DS. I bought it when it was new. I didn't get around to playing it, but here we are now. Here we are now, for those who may be wondering on the VOD, we are playing the 3DS version of this game which a lot of people prefer for quality of life reasons. I'll get to those as they come up. But also, I spruced it up a little bit on my, wink, 3DS. We might have some mods installed that make everything look prettier, sound prettier, and uh, you just enjoy it. All for your pleasure. I made sure to set this up perfectly, and it's gonna be great. Let's get it started, let's get it going. <laughs> All right, let's go. Square Enix. E -e -e. Oh, they have the same theme every time, but it never gets old. Might get a little bit old, but I don't have a problem with it. Look at all birds. Let's go, birds on my spicy 3DS. The sad thing is that that scene is pre-rendered. You don't notice until right now that everything looks oh so crisp. I'm playing this on my spicy 3DS with an HD texture mod and if you open up your ears, orchestrated music patch. Oh, we're, we're up in here. We're playing this game right. Now, don't get too excited about the HD texture mod. Uh, <laughs> The person who made it basically started it two years ago and has not updated it since. So all they really updated was the first town of the game and the text is HD now. Honestly, all I need is the text because the default font is really crunchy. <laughs> Let's start it! So, uh, as per usual, my Dragon Quest name will be Manok. And this being the 3DS version of the game, of course there's like Street Pass features. So it's saying like, hey, hey, people might see this. Uh, make sure to not put anything profane up in there. <laughs> I don't even know how this game uses Street Pass. Something tells me I won't be able to use it on this uh, 3DS. Yeah. So I must have played the intro to this game like at least 20 times in my life. Because I, I like watching it. I like listening to it. Every time I like get a new toy for upscaling my PS2 or getting a new computer to see if my spicy 3DS can run it. Oh, listen to that orchestrated music. Look at that little mousey. I know the mouse's name and it's just so dang adorable. Mickey don't got nothing on this rat. <laughs> oh. mean to little mousy he lives in my pocket oh <laughs> uh. oi gov oi gov it's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer let's head into town there's better places than this to spend an evening it's the man it's the boy shake a leg gov yangus I've barely met this man, and I already love him so much! This is the moment for anyone who hasn't ever played a Dragon Quest. Ooh, I need to... I need to... 
change the camera real quick? Everything's inverted by default? Let me just, uh, beep, beep. Wonderful. Yeah, that's much better. How's the volume, by the way, everybody? Can you hear Yangus loud and clear? He's the only one that matters, by the way. Yeet! My up finds a medicinal herb and puts it in the bag. This is the moment you realize that this game isn't like other RPGs. It's localized to have not just British, but regional dialects and just... It's not afraid to get down and dirty with it. How long is this voice line? I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. All right, ain't it? Hmm. Who's codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. What would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognize the ability if it came up and bit you on the ah! So right away, we got Yangus and Trode. Trode, apparently claiming to be a king of some sort, nobility. That is so Dragon Ball. Enough dilly-dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Look at, look at, look at Yangus. Look at him. Let's go! Uh-oh, here comes trouble, Gav. Oi, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. You can't have Dragon Quest without slimes. All right, Dragon Quest, time to slime, like one minute. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> this battle theme is fantastic. I think this is my favorite battle theme out of all the ones I've heard. And I've heard all of them, actually. So yes, this one, it just sounds so... It's got this progression, it's got this sense of adrenaline to it. And also, let me just talk about how I've set up the screens here while I'm in the battle screen, because this, this is the place that shows it off the most. So you'll notice that I'm in a fight, like every other Dragon Quest. Look at, look at my little battle portrait. He kind of just sounds like, he just kind of looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about fighting these slimes, guys. They look kind of strong. <laughs> like, mm, almost like Minoka Pain. Almost like Minoka Pain right there. And uh, right off the bat, like every other Dragon Quest, you just get thrown into it. Like, you have your items, you have your attacks, you have Psyka. The game's not really going to tell you how that works until later so let's just you know let's just let's let's whack these lines not not whack them but whack them but yeah, yeah you know pretty standard the menus up on the screen you can see the damage you're doing to the slimes but where's my health where's my health how do I know how I'm dying well it's on the bottom screen it's on the bottom screen and I have a button on my controller that just like pops it back and forth I I thought it would be better this way because specifically for 3DS, if I don't, if I keep it on screen all the time, I'm probably gonna have to like squish the main screen more than I'd like. So I'm just gonna do this. Every time it's a battle, I'll just kind of slide it in and out. Whoop, 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 whoop. And uh, if anybody was wondering why the right side of the screen was kind of blurry, that's why. <laughs> that's why. Because I want to make sure that as much as possible doesn't get cropped out. All right, let's take care of this last line. He's been waiting for his death this whole time. You'll probably join in when you beat the second boss. Yeah, feel free to play along, everybody. On the PS2 or the 3DS versions. I'm gonna point out some more of the differences between the PS2 and 3DS versions later, but for now. Well, they certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle, eh? Trode, you did nothing. <laughs> You just watched idly by while we smacked the ever-living goo out of those globs. Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter? 
Gee, I wonder where. I mean, I'm not going to be surprised because I've played this a few times, but... Ah, there you are. Thank goodness you're safe, my dear. Well, if it isn't my little pony. <laughs> The horse princess is back. I like it just cuts to him hugging the horse. I say we make a move now, before it gets dark. I agree, Yengis. Oh. We're back to pre-render land. Sit back and enjoy. Ugh, look at all five of my pixels. <laughs> It's so crunchy, especially when you just saw it all nice and clean. Akira Toriyama, the man, the myth, the legend. Yengis, where are you going? Oh, I see, he's keeping a little lookout. So this cutscene is pre-rendered, which makes me a little bit sad that I can't see it in HD glory. The funny thing is, it's pre-rendered whether you're playing PS2 or 3DS. I've, I've, I've checked. And uh, you'll notice in a second, look how there's like a little path coming in through the, the gates to the town. Now there's no path. Yeah, they, they messed up when they made the cutscene for this version of the game. It's, uh, it's missing the path and everything looks kind of wrong. So they did remake it. I'm just like, how did they not notice something was weird? Speaking of noticing something was weird. Ah, uh, smiling. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh pointing. That, that. That. That doesn't seem like they're happy to see us. Don't let the 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 magical melodies fool you. Uh. <laughs> I'm already getting a bad feeling about being in this town. Also, that building was on fire. Nice house. Does Fire live there now? Want to get a turbo controller so you can speedrun this game? To just like mash A through all the battles? Yes. Yes. Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Oh, you his granddad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. Granddad? I am not your granddad. And of course, Dolmagus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. I already love this dynamic so much. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. This, this voice acting, too. Like, this was the first game that had voice acting, actually. The first Dragon Quest game. No, the first game that ever existed with voice acting, clearly. <laughs> like, it was it was kind of famous, because in Japan, Dragon Quest VIII never had voice acting. Ever. Like, not, well, they did add it to, like, I think a re-release of the game at one point, but when it first came out, they didn't have voice acting until they localized it to the US, and that's when they decided, all right, let's add voice acting, let's make them all British, let's make the names absolutely silly. You'll see. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. You can actually oh, leave the first area without triggering the slime fight? Form, you can? Dear. That's so sad. Why wouldn't you fight the slimes? Then we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. That's Argonia, why huh? it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? Notice how... I've noticed this, again, because I've played this 20 times. Notice how the dialogue box defaults to no. Nope. Don't you see? Rylus is the very man who taught Dulmagus his meddlesome magic. Never mind the fact that I traveled with y'all all the way. I just wanted a free ride to town. <laughs> if chance, he'll be able to give us a clue as to the whereabouts of that evil rogue. That's why you must find him. I'll be waiting for you here. All right, Trode. If you if you really if you really think that's the best plan, also his name is Trode. I kind of don't like that. It kind of sounds gross. The 
listen to the music. Oh, man. Right, so I mentioned I have an XG texture pack. Uh, the map is in HD. You can barely see it, though. It's, it's small. Uh, some of the early character models are in HD, too. The game is pretty cartoony. You, it, it, you, you might not even notice the difference between the two. Also, let me just start leaving. Oh my god! Because I want to hear Yenga some more. You talk to him, you just take him! You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. No, well, never. There is when it comes to looking for people. It's my piece of resistance, isn't it? Piece of resistance. Let's get going, eh? Close enough, Yangus. Close enough, eh? And, of course, my favorite feature of any Dragon Quest game, the party talk. Or in this game, it's called Consult. I, I actually found out the PS2 game doesn't have this. How, how, how can you play any Dragon Quest without someone going, you know, I've been thinking. So we're here to find that wireless geezer, all right? Leave it to me. Finding people's my peace day resistance, as they say. Well, good thing he figured out what the phrase is called. Master Eyeless is the fellow who taught that the cursed dude Magus his magic. He might be able to impart some information to us about the whereabouts of that devious scallywag. I want you to seek him out, Manog. I'm sure he lives in this town. Of course. First game to get voice acting in Japan was 11. That's true. Because 9 and 10 were less. <laughs> were, you know, Dragon, between Dragon Quest 8 and 11, 8 and 11 are the only big console games. Isn't that weird? 10 being the MMO, 9 being a DS game. Dragon Quest is a weird series when you think about it. Yo, never guess what? A horse drawn wagon just passed by here yeah? and there was a monster on it. Wait a minute, you're the people what came in with it. So, so you, you're with the monster? Ah! Okay, bye. Look, I'm just, I, I, I'm taking the monster into custody. Just believe me, he's, he totally will be safe as long as I'm around. Never mind the fact that I just left him. Yeah. Well, hopefully nobody important lived there. Hmm. I, I've explored this town so many times off stream, and I should probably make sure to do it properly. Screw this pot in particular. Screw that pot in particular. Let's go ahead and do our due diligence. Let's get a let's get a feel for the land for this town. Seems like a nice place to live. Let me just uh, can I change the music volume? It seems a little bit loud compared to the voices. I think right there should be good. As much as I love it. If you find you can't quite see something, you can always look at things from a different angle. Just use left, right, up, and down on the control pad. Then when you want to get back to your normal point of view, just press the L and R at the same time. That does work. This game supports the uh, the new 3DS, by the way. Yeah, I can just use the, the circle nub. <laughs> That's what I'm using, totally. Welcome to the Weary Wanderer, Fairbury's finest inn. I'm afraid we're just cleaning the rooms at the moment. Would you mind coming back a little later? Cleaning the rooms, he says. Cleaning the rooms. There's only two rooms. Only one of them has a bed. There's only one room. It's precisely because we've heard such fine things about this Calderasha fellow that we came all the way here. But it's not a rubbish. Calderasha. More like Boulder Dasha. Oh! He's a useless layabout. I like his hat. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Normally, Yangus will try to stop you. You can spam the menu on and off real fast while trying to walk to the bridge and clip through the Yangus trigger. Interesting. In both PS2 and 3DS? But why wouldn't you want Yangus, though? It's, it's really cool to me that even though this game is how many years before Dragon Quest XI? Maybe almost 20? Yet, yet it feels like it could have been the game right before it. Like, the art style. It's, it's... Akira Toriyama, it's almost exactly the same. It's just, you know, on a little bit less powerful hardware, but it still looks amazing. A special issue of the quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Oh, is it detailed the stories of, uh, of, uh, 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 uh of Grandpa Chalky's quest? 
As a rule, once you've raided a treasure chest and had the spoils, that's your lot. But it's a little known fact that there are some chests in this world whose contents mysteriously reappear all of a sudden. Whoever could be responsible for restocking them in this way? The truth is, nobody knows the answer, but some believe it may be a generous fairy. Ma'am? Ma'am? I thought this person was sleeping. But she kind of just looks stoned out of her gourd. Been, been hitting the slime a little bit hard, have you? A little too much puff puff, huh? How could anyone be so spiteful? He said I'll never see it again! My precious ring! And then do you know what he said? He said even if I did find it again, he wouldn't go over my fat finger! I've never been so insulted in all my life! That's rude. Who the hell said that? This guy? Ma'am, was it this guy? I'll beat him up for you. I'll beat him up for you if that's what it takes. Can I have the shield? I kind of want it. Welcome to the Weary Wanderer, Fair Ray's oldest inn. I'm here to make your travels more comfortable and explain a few things. Uh, sure, let's get some tips. The A button is useful. You can examine everything in this room. The wardrobes, the sacks on the wall, the treasure chests. Feel free to take everything you want. This is a generous inn, honestly. Like, you're just allowed to take anything? You know what? They did say they were cleaning the rooms. This is probably what they do to just get rid of extra stock. It's like, oh yeah, the the, the little the little sodas from the mini bar, they've gone flat already. So you can just take them. Chimera wing, pretty nice. Bubba Ivy, welcome. How you doing? Been a while. I'm having a good Thursday. How about you? A quarterly journal called King of Adventure. Getting ready to head out on your first exciting journey into this wonderful world, here's a tip for all you novice explorers. Keep an eye out for treasure chests in unexpected places. Who left them there? Who cares? It's finders keepers in this wild world of adventuring. Think of them as divine gifts from the divine great goddess. Even if they're in somebody's house, apparently. That's what you get for being an RPG NPC. A cypress stick, of course. You gotta have, like, the quintessential first weapon in any Dragon Quest. Although I think it's worse than the weapon I already have. Let me see. Um, go back. Oh, I can't even equip it. That's fun. Oh, wait, no, wait. Hold on, I have to remember how equipment works in these games. Let me see. It's one of the things about Dragon Quest they've kept for a while, but... You know, maybe I wish it could be a little bit more modern. Look, it's worse. It's worse than the weapon I have. No way. I like I like having it though. Cypress stick. All right. How about the sax? Stick your hand right in there. Just, just, just stick it right up in there. Put put it right up to your elbow. Hmm. Wow. This game does run at 30 frames per second. Um. There's some patches that make it quote-unquote run at 60, but it makes the animations play twice as fast, so I opted to just leave it at 30. Ivy's doing good. Don't work until 6. Well, wow. we'll enjoy it and have some good wine, apparently. Yeah, hope you chill. Playing some PS5. What games did you get for PS5? I see I am poor. As is usual. Bandit's Grass Skirt. A rough grass kilt of the kind preferred by Yingus. Ah, uh, look at the Wayfarer's clothes, though. That'd be nice. Alright. Assuming that I'm still welcome in this town once I get some money, I'll be able to come back and buy things. Come back anytime. I will. Hello. Welcome to Fabry! Are you here looking for that key, too? The monkey? The monkey D. Luffy? Yes. Yes, I am. Why don't you tell me more about it? I knew it! You've got that look about you! It's written all over your faces! Especially the stocky one. Stocky! I'll talk about Yangus that way. Hey! You talking about me? What writing on me face? Who's going to written on me head? <laughs> You're thieves! You're looking for the thieves key! I could tell as soon as I laid eyes on you! Well, you got me pegged. No, of course not. Can't tell anyone. I wouldn't say too loud, ma'am. Any more pots to shatter? Nothing here? Alright. It's an RPG. Gameplay means going to everybody's houses and taking all their stuff. What's inside the drawers? Any stockings? Well. Honestly, I 
Chester? If that man was a Chester, I'll eat my hat. I mean, that's an entire ass rag, isn't it? I, that'd be hard to digest. If he showed us any decent tricks, that would have been one thing, but all he did was teach the, the kids a load of mumbo jumbo. Kefka? He was a trickster, all right, but no, Chester. Wham. Wham. Five gold coins. Ma'am, save more money next time. Next time I come around to steal your stuff. <sighs> it is. Got the new Ratchet and Clank and Demon Souls. Hey, you got like all two exclusives for the PS5. I know there's a couple more, but still. Man, for how long into the PS5 it feels like we haven't gotten many more games? Dang. Well, whatever happens next, I'm loaded on herbs, at the very least. Which is good. One thing that's kinda cool about Dragon Quest games- Oh, I'm at the bar. But I'm- I'm at- I'm at the back of the bar. Hold on, let me just- As long as nobody's telling me to get out, let me just raid the goods. Is it safe to be keeping the furnace right next to the alcohol? I mean, I know alcohol isn't like... Alcoholic drinks aren't literally as flammable as alcohol, but I still feel that's not safe. Oh, are you the new barman? No? You just came in through the wrong door? You're scatterbrain, aren't you? A little bit. I got the brain cell today. I'm not as scatterbrained as usual. Oh dear me! I'm afraid customers aren't allowed behind the bar. Would you mind going around and using the main entrance? Then we can talk. He kind of looks like Silvando, but squished a little bit. Like... Ma, can we have Silvando? We have Silvando at home. This is Silvando at home. What's your problem? Customers have to order from this side of the bar. <laughs> Alright, okay. You seem to be too drunk to be telling me what to do. Why don't you go home, buddy? Wait on the other exclusives. True, I'm I'm waiting on Returnal. I, I know you have to go in there, by the way, so I'm avoiding it. <laughs> um, Returnal is like one of the only games that I'm really considering buying on PS5, but I hear they just announced it for PC, so I guess I'm still not buying it for PS5. And I think a lot of people... A lot of stores realize that, so Returnal hasn't really gone on that much sale yet. But other than that, I don't know, it feels like a lot of games are still coming out on PC and PS4 and Xbox. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm thinking of getting the Dead Space remake, but not playing it until October, so I can just wait until it gets on sale later in the year, because I know it will. I saw it with my own eyes! The very night of the fire it was! That creepy-looking jester fellow went into Rylus's house with the wickedest grin on his face. And not long after that, I heard the most blood-curdling cackle of laughter you can imagine! Crazed laughter it was, full of hate! Rylus, you say? That could be a problem for us. I hear we were looking for somebody named Rylus. Some- that, that other Rylus might have known something about him. Hmm. Make sure to ransack people's houses before you do anything in RPGs. Who knows what useful one-time-only items you might see. You're getting One Piece Odyssey? Ah, yeah. I also have it pre-ordered, but I've got a deal with a friend, basically. Uh, I'm letting him borrow it because he is actually cut up to One Piece. Do you go in the well? Uh, oh, oh, there we go. The person, the person standing in front just saw me jump down here. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. Just trudge my mud-filled boots with him. Leather shield, let's go. Mm. Okay. Oh, look at that! You get a little 3D. Da, 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 da. Right, right. Have to give it. Have to, have to give it to my dude. I have to get used to that. Bag shield. Transfer, Manok, go. At the very least, it asked me to equip it. I believe it's it's now been a while since I played Dragon Quest XI, but I believe that you were able to equip things directly from the bag in that game. Maybe? 
it just automatically goes to their stuff. Hmm. So, I'm letting my friend play One Piece Odyssey to start with. And, you know, if I wanted to start it... Oh, it's locked. A, a locked door in an RPG, that's rare. At least in the town. Who the heck are you? Look at, look at how much hair this man has. He's rivaling Gerard the Completionist with that beard. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't beat an ice cold drink of water after a night on the town. Foresight, you're looking for someone. Why don't you go to the pub thing? There's nothing the barmen don't know about his place. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. But first, more exploration. I promise I won't be this thorough until, uh, again, until maybe I find another town. Oh, look at that, the classic. I wasn't lying when I said they've been using this model for a long time. Mr. Buff Man. Sorry, not Dave, but could be Dave. What's your problem? What are you doing coming the back way, eh? The front door's around the other side! Ha <laughs> ha! You must be new to this game, eh? To this game? Yes. I knew it! How about I give you a few pointers to get you started then? Listen, you're not having a load of weapons and armor knocking about in your bag won't do you no good. You gotta equip yourself with them. Look at Munchie. <laughs> in my pocket. Ah, The shopkeeper's smart. They're locking their chests. But uh, yeah, I, if I wanted to play One Piece Odyssey, I could play the, the demo that's free. Because the... Everything you do in the demo carries to the full game, apparently. It's one of those demos, which I love. I love... More RPGs need to do that. Because, honestly, with RPGs, it's more like... A lot of a lot of companies don't make demos these days because they think once people, they think once people play them, they'll not want to play the full game. But with RPGs, you know you want to play it for the story first and foremost. The demo is just like, here, get hooked into the story so you buy the full game. It's it's different for RPGs. Want to get Grim Grim War and Dungeon Munchies? Haven't heard of those games, but they sound nice. It's such a pity, 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 pity. Oh, sorry, listen to me. That jester who was here before kept saying that and it's become a bit of a habit. So this jester seems like a little bit of a troublemaker, huh? A little bit of a joker, baby. I'm the joker, baby. <laughs> there was a fire in town just recently. One poor old man perished, you know. Hmm? What's that you say? The old man's name? Yes, what was it now? I have a feeling it's Rylus, like that old man in the house said. Saving at the churches is a Dragon Quest staple. <laughs> the little I'm not sure portrait is here too. Ah, now that sound makes me feel safe, don't it? Oh, by the way, the bottom screen is saying experience to the next level, so you've got everything. You've got everything that's classic the Dragon Quest right here Shadow Storm Strider welcome welcome which version of the game is this you got the 3ds version of the game with an HD texture mod that makes the text oh so crisp and uh, an orchestrated music patch so you can finally hear this game how it's meant to be like you let you hear in the orchestrated music right now caveat once I enter this door you'll see what I mean uh, the mod is bugged a little bit this song is MIDI again. I don't know why some of the songs don't work. I'm a little bit sad, but hopefully most of the good songs still work fine. Have you heard about the fire we had in town the other day? People are saying it was awesome! Oops, that's a bit of a hot topic. We better not talk about it anymore. <laughs> hot topic. Heh. <laughs> fire. I get it. <laughs> Just the one after work, really? <laughs> it's the spot. <laughs> so, uh... What do you want with me, then? Uh... I don't know, do you have any information for me? Hey! You're looking for someone? Get out of here! Why are you boring me with that rubbish? This is a pub! 
you're supposed to relax. If you're too tense, have a drink or let it all out on the battlefield. At least you can put your tension to good use out there. You know if you psych yourself up enough, your attacks and magic get more powerful. So save it for fighting, alright? Remember, increase your tension by psyching up. Decrease it by having a <coughs> drink. <laughs> Video game mechanics. For no reason in particular, I will now tell everybody that in the PS2 version of the game, you could enter first person mode by, I believe, pressing the one of the sticks in? But because 3DS has no sticks, you cannot do that. For no reason in particular. This information is now known to everybody. Oh, I love seeing new faces! <laughs> you know, it wasn't until I played Dragon Quest XI. Like, every game has bunny girls, but... It wasn't until Dragon Quest XI that now, permanently in my mind, they have southern accents. You're not from around here, are you? Is that little creature in your pocket a pet of yours? It's so adorable, what's his name? <laughs> Munchie? A cute name for a cute little fella. Well, Munchie, enjoy your stay. Munchie is a cute little fella. What about me, though? <laughs> do 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 that's right, I'm starting some shit in the bar. What you gonna do about it? Kick me out? Not like everybody else in this place isn't drunk. Hello, are you looking for someone? Yes. Master Riley, so... You haven't heard? Master Riley died in the fire the other day. Actually, just between you and me, I think he must murder... I, I, oops. I shouldn't have said that. Should not have said that. Should not have said that. Should not have said that. Forget I mentioned it. Hmm. 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 That's probably for the best. Every time people ask me about things, I always end up saying something I shouldn't. And so... He already and has. You had oh. enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir. He does have a French accent! I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This, uh, haphazard fortune-telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune selling? Haphazard! Are you a complete fool? These voices are out there, and I, I... I... Look at him! Look at him! He's just... He's just Mr. Satan! He's just Hercule! He's Hercule after he gets in the drinking and loses a couple of pounds. Wait! My fortune telling! Let me tell you something for free. All fortune telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? I don't know. Probably it'll cause a, 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 a Rube Goldberg of consequences. It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. Usually how fortune telling works I'm in sorry, Mr. anime. Kodasha, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he's gone. But there goes our one lead. Now what are we gonna do? We saw the Yoku's Island Express demo, played it for seven minutes, then bought it. Ah, there you go. Now that's how you know it's a good demo. I think indie games should bring that back, honestly. What? What is it? Too many games, like... There's so many indie games out there. How are you gonna get your, your name out there if, like... Now that, especially now that streaming is so popular, demos are how, like, people get in... Like, just, like, play games one-off for their streams and then bring them to attention to so many more other people. It's the way to go, I think. Mm -hmm. You come. Me? Show your face to the great Calderasha. Yes. Yes. Sir, personal space. Quick, quick! Everyone come quick! There's a monster in town! Oh. Oh no! What? Just come and see! The whole town's gone crazy! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you not gonna panic too, Calderasha? What's all the noise? Can't a man drink in peace? 
Now then, what were we talking about before? Do you remember? Yes, yes, Rylus. Ah, yes. I was just getting to the yes, yes bit. But now with all the noise, I have lost interest. You do not understand, do you? That is how I do business. Can you not feel the curiosity stirring in you when you hear me say the words, yes, yes? It makes me want to tell you your fortune, no. Well, yes. Maybe later, then. That man said there was a monster. Ridiculous. You learn a thing or two when you've been in this business as long as I have. Still, you're remarkably calm, sir. You didn't feel inclined to rush outside to see what's going on, then. Really? You came to February looking for Master Rylis? I see. That's unfortunate. You've already heard what he passed the other day. The old man was getting on a bit, but no one expected the fire. I just want to listen to this epic music. Listen to the freaking cowbell! <laughs> What is going on? What is this blue man group? <laughs> 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 oh my I just imagine like a little chicken with cowbells strung to him and he's just like flailing around like <laughs> Did you hear that? He said there was a monster in town. You think it's true? Maybe. You stay right here. You're safe here. I'm not safe anywhere. Bone zone. That's just the sound of a skeleton dancing. Every bone clinks against itself, and then all of a sudden you make music. Somebody going ham on that cowbell. Someone had fun. You want me to go down to the courtyard? But it's mayhem down there. There's a monster loose in town, you know? You could get hurt if you get caught up in it all. You better not go down there. I'm going. I'm going. I'm go. You, you're actually not letting me go. What do I do? I'm gonna have to jump down from up top. Ooh. What's all the fuss about? Oh, I forgot to talk to that guy. Oh well. He's just a singing bard. He sings about nighttime or something? I don't remember. What's going on? Trode, what trouble did you get yourself into? Look at Yang is running. This ain't good, Gavin. Come on! <laughs> You're Something about the hero in this game. Of course he doesn't talk, but the way he just like, oh, what? Uh oh. Ooh, he looked at me. Oh, it's hideous. Hey, I know you are, but what am I? Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here. And uh, oh, oh no, they're stoning him. Where did they get all of those? Someone off to the side just selling stones from a cart. I bet the townspeople are so confused. Why is a horse protecting a monster? Oh, uh, oh! Look at the princess. So much spite in her eyes. I know. I see how it is. Just because someone's a little green and fuzzy. These are a monster, huh? Well, didn't well, want to be here anyway. That was a fine reception. Do they realize who I am? Apparently not. Yang is the true grub. You get that right, Sinister Draws. <laughs> also, welcome. How you doing? Cover. Don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Blood? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? Mm. Well, yes, but actually, no. What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! It's just a normal guy getting dragged along. I love it. He's got a great design, too. And you know what? I can just pretend I'm Surge from Chrono Cross. Bandana. Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dormagus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I mean, someone being dead is a little bit more than spilled milk. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate Elf. him. But it seems we'll just have to track Dormagus down by ourselves. With Rylus gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Finally, this is the furthest I've gotten in this video game. Wait. What's going on? 
Please wait. For you! I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. I feel like she might be related to Calder Cal Calderetta. <laughs> Calderetta. Calderasha, but Calderetta is like a Filipino dish. <laughs> Fearless. She's been waiting for death this whole time. I dreamt about you. Okay, that's a little bit weird. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. Okay, that's a little bit it rude. Was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. Oh, that's what you want from us. You just want us to grant your wishes. What do you wish for? A million dollars? A horse? We have a horse. We can give you a horse. No, we shouldn't give you the horse. The horse is the princess. <laughs> Are you referring to me? <laughs> oh, Yangus is yucking it up. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Caldarasha. That's what I could have thought. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. All right, at least we have a place to sleep for the night. Oh, I didn't say anything about sleeping. You can sleep in the doghouse. No! It's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you. How, how am I supposed to get back into town? Let the sneak in. Oh, that was the door what that was locked. About? Come round my house, she says. Come on, Yangus. Come on, Yangus. As if you don't have many people inviting you to their house after dark. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all. Not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. Oh, Trode. It must be so sad for him. Just all of a sudden, everybody is just absolutely racist towards you instantly that is that really sucks we must give this young girl a helping hand right then my boy go and find the house by the well I mean, he's a king he's not used to people wants. like absolutely treating him like shit unless he was a shitty king in that case he might be used to it mm -hmm. me i'll wait here with the princess <laughs> We don't want to cause any more of a stir. I guess, as long as you're okay out here. Why don't you just, like, stay in the wagon or something? Cool, blimey! What's up, Nate? I see you've noticed the new emote. It hasn't happened in the game, but I've seen it yet. I've seen it many times. <laughs> many, many times. Oh, no, can I just go back in people's houses? Is there new dialogue? Oh, no, okay, everything's locked. I'm saved from myself. Thank goodness. I'm saved from my own obsessive habits of checking every dialogue in an RPG. Thank goodness. I will still smash every pot, though. You feel worse for Medea. At least the king can talk. Ooh, that's true. Like, at least King Tro can still, like, walk and talk and, for the most part, is the same shape. Medea has to learn how to walk like a horse. Uh, Valentina? You alright? Hello? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Hold on, let me just uh, break all your pots. This is me. This is my personality in an RPG. Wait, just before I talk to anybody, let me just ransack their kitchen first. Yup. All 11 of their gold coins are finally mine. I'll have that cypress stick yet. Okay, now I'll talk to you. Party chat is in the PS2 version? Interesting! How do you do it? Maybe you unlock it later? I didn't ah, see a consult option in the menu. Pain. I'm so sorry, I, I must have drifted off. How rude of me. I wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball. Didn't you know what it is? You're the fortune teller, daughter. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? Please, I did just start this game. <laughs> Of course. Let me explain. Start button? Huh. I wouldn't have thought of that for some reason. My father, Calderasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. 
Oh, this song is also not orchestrated. I just noticed. Lost treasure, missing people. There was nothing the great Kaldarasha couldn't help people with. But then what happened? Did he predict something bad and then everyone just wanted him to stop it? I bet that's what happened. But then one day, he lost his powers. Oh. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. Or maybe somebody is meddling in the future. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball isn't... Uh oh. Oop. Valentina, what is going on here? Nothing. Really, I just got here. How I swear. How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? It's not been working anyway, dude. What? Hi. Aren't you that boy from the pub? What brings you here? Gah, never mind. Uh, I would like my fortune told, please. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. This man is too proud. I am going to bed. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. At least he's not angry that I'm in here. Look at the size of those tarot cards, by the way. They're each the size of a laptop. Holy shit, it's Borat! My fortune. And my wife. I'm sorry my glass about ball. My father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. He'll never admit it. Well, thank you, Valentina, for bringing it to our attention. 3DS voices sound muffled. They are a little bit, you know, it has to fit on a cartridge, so. I did compare it to the PS2 version the other day. The voices in the PS2 version are also a little compressed, but you can really tell on 3DS. It's what they had to do. Like, the game normally doesn't even have orchestrated music, so I had to patch it in. Hope you're doing well today, by the way, Nate. HD does look nice. Even if it is only just the text, basically. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? What what does it entail in this world to have a crystal ball? Like, no, of I can't. You won't. What was I thinking? I'm just a stranger to you after all. Wait, no. Wait, no, I'm kidding. I feel I'm bad so now. Sorry. I suppose my dream was just that. A dream and nothing more. Wait. Wait, this is voice acted. I feel bad now. Wait, no, wait. Wait, hold on. Let me just... <laughs> let me just see if her dad is actually just sleeping. Immediately. Just on a bed in the middle of the room in his daytime clothes. <laughs> Not even under the covers. <laughs> it looks so funny. All right, let me just... Let me just read all your books first. Wasn't expecting eight to be this mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is a photo mode. You're right. Let me take a picture with his, with his sedated body. Weendy, how's it going? What accent is that? Um, it sounds like some kind of Eastern European accent, I believe. I think that's what they're going for, since they're fortune tellers. Well, her dad's a fortune teller. So, something like that. How you doing? Hope you're well. Jessica has a different voice actress in the 3DS version. She did a good job. Oh, that, you know what? That's a good point. Because I have seen some cutscenes from the PS2 version. And, like, I've heard her voice in that, but I don't think I've heard her voice in this. I wonder. All right, something about research? After many long years spent researching monsters, I have reached an unexpected conclusion. It appears that nocturnal monsters are far stronger and more vicious than their daytime counterparts. What an incredible discovery. Now I must redouble my efforts to fathom the secrets of monster biology. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. Well, dang. Uh, what button is photo mode? Is it like the D-pad? Uh, L, R, select? Select. Here we go. We got controls over here. Oh, you know what? Even though this game doesn't have a first person mode, this is probably how they, you know, justified replacing it. Change po- <laughs> <laughs> Change pose! Kicking the old man while he sleeps. Uh, 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 uh. Wake up, old man! Wake up, old man! You're supposed to tell fortunes! Get up! Get up! You can't feel sorry for yourself every day! Get up and let me get you that real crystal ball or else! 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Dead? There's a dead pose? Wait, wait, can't I? Aw, oh, man. I, I know I did this early. You can also get pictures with Yangus, but I guess Yangus doesn't count as in my party right now. All right, we'll just uh, we'll just kick the old man. There you go, and take the shot. Keep this photo, yes. All right, uh, how do we get out of here? Okay. He seems to be fast asleep. The sound alert loud work? Uh, I heard it. It might be a little bit quiet, though. Die! I'm gonna have to tweak the volumes of stuff a little bit. As much as I like this music, I think it's still overpowering the voices a little bit. So here, let me just drop that one more level. And then I'll raise the volume of the... of OBS. That's the thing when I play a game for the first time. I kind of have to feel it out. Hmm. There should be good. Yeah. And then maybe this can be higher. Yeah. Alright, Valentina. I've done some long and hard thinking about it, and I think I will help you. He sounded so sad. I feel guilty. Hmm? Have you decided to help me? Really? You will? This is exactly how it all happened in my dream. You're telling me she knew I was gonna accept? Oh, crocodile tears. Crocodile tears. So far, everything's coming true. In my dream, there was a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave under the big waterfall to the south of town. Only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. Maybe she's got some fortune-telling powers of her own. We're going on our first adventure, y'all. Get to find your favorite photo. Hopefully there are no spoilers in it. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm going. Am I allowed in the pub? Oh, I am. Will they immediately kick me out? Oh, I see they're closing time. Kyle the Rasha drank quite a lot today. I hope he got home all right. It's literally around the corner. Still, he only lives just around the corner, so he should be fine. Well, I guess he drank that much, huh? So much that you get lost going back home around the corner. I'm sorry, sir. I've stopped serving for the night. That's fair. Do 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 do. Ba da da do. Da 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 da. Yeah, if you're just coming on in, we got some Dragon Quest 11 for you on the 3DS. I've got a button that brings up the bottom screen, but for for all other times, you get the full experience, baby. Look at how pretty everything is on my quote-unquote 3DS. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I've had a, a bit too much. You know, I've been thinking, face that weird clown. I know that green monster. There's a lot of strange things going on. You ask me, it's a open. Something's bad's gonna happen. I think I made myself feel, th feel sick. I almost said feel thick. Man, I'm feeling thick today. We don't get thick. All right, well, let's get back out there. We gotta tell Yengis all about the plan. Da -da 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 Thanks for the shoms up for red. How you doing today? So I don't know how much difference it makes. Probably just to save time. In the in the oh, Yengis was with me. In the PS2 version of the game, when you pick up a barrel, you can walk around with it for some reason. Here you just slam it on the ground unceremoniously mm, like a living. Magnificent! Such devotion to her father. I'm impressed. Just how a daughter should be. I think you might be uh, projecting upon her, but also the fact that your daughter is alive just right here. How do you think she feels about that, huh, King Trode? And if this Calderasha gets his powers back, there's nothing he can't find, am I right? Oh! They will kill two birds with one stone! If everything goes according to plan, 
We'll find out where that hateful Dolmagus is. Sounds like you'd be right behind him. The time's getting on. Uh, Medea and I will stay outside. That's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this. I don't blame you, King Troll. You should spend the night at the inn and rest well, so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow. Can I... Can I have some money to pay for the inn? <laughs> what? Don't you have some money on you from killing those slimes? Yeah, but you're rich. Can I have some money? <laughs> In the morning, we leave for the Waterfall Cave! I like how he said that. The cave! <laughs> Didn't tell the voice actors had fun. Most of them are the same from the PS2 version. A, a localization of that quality in that era. It's just so nice. Good morning, did you have a good rest? It was dark, so I can't be sure, but I think the little old man you came with slept in his wagon outside the town gates last night. Anyway, here have a safe trip. Yes, yes, little old man in the wagon. Yep, not a monster. Has anyone seen the new Puss in Boots? I want to watch it so bad. I hear so good things about it. I think Haru watched it, actually. Lemonade Cafe? Oh. Okay, this person says the same stuff. Oh, this music! Wasn't this music used in Dragon Quest XI? It's a different song from earlier. Puss in Boots. You loved it? Oh, I'm so excited. I I haven't watched a Shrek movie since Shrek 2, actually. No, I did watch Shrek 3. You know what? I I watched Shrek 3 and I blocked it out of my mind. That's how much I don't remember it. Uh, which one of these do we want to buy? If any. Man, I didn't know the song was from 8. Da -da 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 you know what? I think we're early enough in the game that I don't really need new armor. I'd rather have a better weapon, honestly. Let's go check the weapon shop. Southgate. Got it. Haven't seen a movie in a while. If I... Maybe I can convince my coworkers to go. Because I know, uh... I have a coworker who has that AMC like deal pass thing where it's four dollars every Tuesday and Tuesdays are when I go into the office so <laughs> that's usually our movie day if we ever go you can share it with people so we all go in for like four dollars each it'll be the perfect time to watch Puss in Boots it's it's crazy to me that Antonio Banderas has been voicing Puss in Boots for this long since Strike 2 but it's like that man's voice ages like a fine wine. It gets more gruff and suave as it goes as time goes on. Who's this kid? Hey, did you see the green monster? I wish I'd seen it too. I've never seen a monster before. And you don't want to see a monster, kid. Not because of the monster itself, but you don't want to see how absolutely ugly people can get when they see something they don't like. Outside town, you'll come across some monsters lying around that look like they got something to say about swords. They're mad about fighting, see? And they're tough ones to beat. If you want to take them on, you better prepare yourself for a fight. Hmm. Thanks for the follow. We have anonymous follows, by the way. So you can, uh, rest in peace. Not rest in peace, but you can, you know, just chill. Now that all the disturbances die down, you will be able to take relax with security a little. All right, let's go, Yangus. Let's go. Let's go, Yangus. Let's go. Ah, I was starting to think you'd got lost. Andy the Robo. Now wait a minute. How the? Now wait a minute. How does that work? Well, thanks for the follow, Andy the Robo. <laughs> what are you doing over here, Drew? Did you just start your stream? Or whoever this may be. Did Shark get a hold of the account credentials? Hold on, let me just... Hmm... Imagine pausing his stream, huh? Wait a second! <laughs> Else. Use 
use his name? Did I really go disturb his dream for, so for an <laughs> imposter? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Hi Drew. Hi I'm Drew's chat. How you doing today? Hi Ma. I'm on his stream. He's listening. To me. He's listening. He's laughing. All right, let's get out of here. All right. If y'all want to watch some Dragon Quest, uh, whoever stream it's on, how's it going? Look at this. Isn't it so beautiful? No, Manok. I was starting to think you'd get lost. Oops. Let's go to the waterfall cave and see if we can find that crystal ball. Medea and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. <laughs> Drew, if you ever play this game, and I know you will, you're gonna love it. I've only gotten like five minutes in the game, and it's taken me an hour and a half to do so. <laughs> Away we go! Oh. oh, we're not gonna go on the caravan? I see how it is. You're gonna make me hoof it. All right, so this is one of the big differences between the PS2 and 3DS versions. You can see the monsters out on the field. It's like Dragon Quest XI. Let's go fight a slime. Is that Phil from Hercules? Over there. Oh, I hope the game doesn't crash. Bada bada ba, bada bada ba. Look at Yangus. Look at the man. He's got the plan. In, in, the, in the PS2 game, the battles are random, just just like all the other classic Dragon Quest RPGs. Here, you see them walking about, and it's probably like the prototype that they used, the idea that they used to implement in the Levin. And it does make the world feel a lot more alive, at least to me. All right, what is this? What's this satyr all about? Oh, he is a satyr. Look, at him, he's so happy. Oh, look at the candy cat. I'm sad. I'm sad because I'm not playing Treasures anymore. But I miss I mix I, I miss Mogsworth already. Him and his little doom, chuck, doom, doom, chuck, doom, chuck, music. Let me psych up. I wanna see how this battle system works. Ow! So I've heard that in the PS2 version of this game, specifically just in the American version. If you psych up, or something like that, to maximum, eight turns into a, hey! Well, shoot. How can I psych up when I'm sleeping? You tur eight turns into a Super Saiyan? Like, literally, they did that so that It'd be a little Easter egg for the Western fans who only know this art style from Dragon Ball. I'm getting my ass kicked by begetting enemies. What is this? Get out of my face, dude. <laughs> I hate it already. I need some Minoka and Sami. I spent like two turns sleeping. Out of here. You used to buy your lives, Mogswood. I mean, this is Dragon Quest. This is Dragon Quest right here. The second you leave the town, you grind up on slimes, right? It's just tradition at this point. I mean, Ichiban Kasuga said it. Well, actually, Nanba said it, didn't he? All right, so uh, I won't, I, won't, I won't fight too many things along the way. I'll just fight anything that looks interesting. I'll try to keep it like when I played Dragon Quest XI. Fight at least one of every enemy type, and I'll, maybe I'll have enough experience to move on. I am curious, though. Am I going to see, like, metal slimes right off the bat, maybe? This little herb. I kind of need a little bit of a heal. Just a little bit. Oh, look when I pause. The enemies in the background keep moving. He's just going. Let's let's like the fur walk from Pokemon. I could probably oh you know what I could probably do actually. Dun, dun, na, na, na. 
I could probably put on a background of some kind, like... This. Ba ba ba. Thinking about those beans. Thinking about those beans. Wow, the graphics of this game are so good for the 3DS. Here, now he's not walking in the air. And there's a cameo appearance from Sonic himself. This game is amazing. It has everything. About those beans. Thinking about those beans. Oh, let's consult. Nah, want to see where you're headed? Just forget about the path and go straight there. No messing. Oh, right, there might be a few more monsters, but a real man don't need to worry about that. I like your style, Yangus. Aw, oh, the lip things. I'm gonna fight one of the lip things. What the hell is that? Ah! That must be the secret third evolution of the pepper. Oh my god. Capsichum. Bunnicorns. I hope we're not already outside of our, uh, out of our gourd here. Now they're peppers. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Bop, bada bop, bada bop, bop. I'm sure they don't have that much health. I mean, they're already stabbed through. How strong could they be? One! Nothing. Don't stab me. Don't you dare. Vegetables are supposed to be good for your health. Stop it. I'm glad they do so little damage. Get him, get him. Sorry, Haru. I remember... I, I don't remember... It's... Some of the enemies in Dragon Quest are so iconic. I'm not surprised to see them again and again, like little bunny corn. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise. No more bunny murder. Unless they attack me first. You know, it's, it's an eye for an eye. If you've been playing God of War, there's a line. Atreus asked, Father, is it always moral to kill someone trying to kill you? Without hesitation, Kratos is like, Yes. But that's the life he's lived, right? Interesting to think about. But also, the question was specifically, is it moral? Is it the right thing to do? That's a different question entirely. But moral? I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you not gonna do about it, right? Jeez, they're so fast! You see that one tree? It looks like a Pokemon tree. Like that! That's kind of funny to me. Everything else is HD, and then that tree is Pokemon style. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. I need it. I want it. Look at the map, by the way. It's so pretty. I'm into it. Uh, <laughs> this is stressful. This is very stressful. The enemies follow you so fast, and they despawn like immediately after they go off screen. It's kind of funny. All right, the lip things. I remember y'all from Dragon Quest XI. Oh, they look just as luscious as ever. All right, we're getting rid of the satyr immediately. I know what he's capable of. Please, no Jigglypuff. You put some of your favorite photos in stream chat? All right, let's take a look. Although, uh, hopefully, hopefully they're not too spoilery. Hopefully you're just like taking pictures with, uh, with sleeping and drunk people, as you do. I wonder where- what the- <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That let- No, wait a minute. Friendship ended with Yangus. Now Yangus is my best friend. You know. 
after Yangus suffers a wound in battle, all you gotta do is... All you gotta do is, uh, have King Tro dress up as Yangus, and then the enemies will be intimidated enough that they'll, they'll just go ahead and... They'll just go ahead and pretend they'll be beat up. Just to get away from the Yangus himself. The Yangus man. Wow, well, they're having fun. He's not. I wonder who that person is. It's not like he's on the box art of the game or anything. Fast despawns useful for areas with metal slimes, huh? I wonder, it would have been real nice if enemies despawned that fast in Pokemon Scarlet Violet. It would make shiny hunting a lot faster, but at the same time, you might accidentally take the camera off of shiny, and you just realize at the last moment, wait, that was shiny! Oh no, it's gone! <laughs> hey, I need to go to the waterfall, right? Okay, it's there. All right, we'll follow Yangus's advice. Head straight for it, baby. That is an interesting waterfall. It's like on the smallest mountain in existence. How does it, where does all that water come from? Just an infinite supply up on the top of the mountain, maybe? I heard this game was rebalanced around the fact that you it can see like and avoid the monsters. It. So, I'm not too worried. Naturally, I'd love to come in with you, but I couldn't possibly put Medea in danger. That's the thing. She is a horse, so... She could probably run away from danger faster than anyone can catch up with her. Honestly. She'll get a nice uh, cardio workout from it, too. I'm sure you'll do a fine job of finding the crystal ball without us. We'll be waiting here. Love this guy's voice actor. You can hear the little in his voice. You be careful in there. All right. I will do. Oh, I get a little torch. Ooh, I like the lighting effects. Can I jump off? No. Hmm. Yes, yeah, the call to the void. Immediate curiosity. Play Advancer, yo yo, how's it going? You having a nice day today? We're questing in Dragon Quest. We're doing our first quest in Dragon Quest. We're finding a crystal ball locked away in this secret cave. So secret, nobody's ever seen it. But it's it's very obvious, it's not hidden or anything. Let me see what items I have, actually. Um, I have, uh... A couple of... Actually, I just have one mythical herb now. Let's transfer that to Yangus, just in case he needs to use it in battle. I have a feeling that I won't get too beat up right in here right now. All right, Monty Mole, it's you and me. Are you guarding this place? Which one of you is the third strongest guardian? Ba 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 ba. For dungeons, you think I should just have the little second screen up all the time? It doesn't cover up too much now that I see it. Honestly, that is the perfect place for it, isn't it? Got back from Kung Fu? Oh, yeah! Got Wendy's on the way? What you get? We were talking about Wendy's the other day. I talked about how much the chili is pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Watching Twin Peaks? We'll have fun. Bum, 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 bum. I want Wendy's. Right, they're... They don't have the same stuff in Canada, right? Dang. They have poutine, though. I was on Ghost Dog VG's stream. I'll finally get heal. I wonder when I get that, considering I did not buy any herbs. Any Herba Mysticas. So if I get injured by my, like my boss Tiff, I won't be able to recover. You know what? I like having the little screen on there. I wanted to make sure that the main screen was like the maximum size for maximum enjoyment. I think this layout works just fine. A Dave double fries, four piece nuggets, and a mellow yellow and a frosty. Oh, that is a meal right there. Oh, I'm jealous. I had curry for dinner today, and uh, just to, just to make it a little bit healthier than what I usually get, I got stewed chicken and mushrooms, and then I added a little bit of spinach that I happened to have in the fridge. 
Uh, Yangus is getting a little beat up, but I think he's fine. He's a tough boy. He'll, he'll survive. Doi! These enemies, and the animations and everything, there's so much personality to them. Like, you put this alongside, like, Final Fantasy X, for example. And yeah, Final Fantasy X might have better overall detail in the graphics, but the way that Yangus bounces around, how expressive the characters are, I, I love this. This is great already. Here, I need to use a medical herb. Heal up, Yangi boy. Hands out fries. Well, thank you, Blade. The meat is for you. Fair enough. I am the meat. What is this? Oh, it's a little clockwork chicken. Love these enemies. <laughs> a mecha mine. It has the same, like, pose and everything. Haru didn't eat much because you can't cook. You can cook. It's easy as following instructions. You can do it. Even if it's like just putting a, a pizza in the oven. That'll do it. Honestly, if you have one of those little toaster ovens, you can make so many things with just that. When I was growing up as a kid, I used to just bake a lot of tiny things. Bubble slime! I used to bake bubble slime. Oh, look at them! Classic. I like the 3D bubbles too. That is such a nice little effect. Level 5 charm at work. We get leftover spaghetti. Use the rest of the sauce. Leftover noodles, you gotta figure out what to do with. What do I usually do when I have leftover spaghetti? Uh, sometimes I get. Well, to just go buy more sauce at the grocery store. Sometimes I melt cheese on it. Almost like mac and cheese. For me, it usually feels like I run out of noodles before I run out of sauce most of the time. Which is funny to me because I always use a ton of sauce. And yet I still have some left over. Fuck it! Me when somebody messes with the code that I wrote. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Squelch, ew. Oh, what is this? Skill points. Huh. Sword, spears. Oh, it's like this. It's like the grid in 11. All right. Okay, I see how this works. Question. Uh, do I get the ability to respect these later? Or do I just get stuck with whatever skill points I assign? Mm, let's read all these. Attack power with a sword, you'll become an ultimate swordsman. Buy some Alfredo sauce? That sounds like a good idea, Twig. Can I use all these kinds of weapons? Wow. Wow! That's. 8 is a lot more proficient than 11. Let me tell you what. Fighting bare fisted. You can do what now? Courage. Require bravery. You'll command an unshakable resolve. Oh, I get zoom at level 8? Level 1? Uh... I might just get Zoom, honestly. Attack plus 5. This thing- Oh, I thought this said Dragon Salsa. ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba da Attack plus 5. Crosscutter throw. Honestly? Kinda just immediately want Zoom. Seems like you can't respect. Oh... Interesting. Uh, let's put four into swords and the rest into courage. Yeah, we'll get more courage later. I'm not too brave. You may be brave, but you're a small, weak rube. You have so much XP to earn, so get your ass out there and grind. Gotta grind, gotta grind, gotta grind it. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff, gotta find it. Keep an open mind, because who knows what's behind it. Yangus 2? Humanity. What does that imply? He doesn't have any already? Well, you can't whistle. Because he's a thief! Oh, dude! This is Dragon Quest here. The min-maxing begins. I'm sh And you don't get enough points to max everything? What the hell? Really? Damn. 
I feel like then I should spec into all the, uh, the class stuff then. Because who knows what weapons I'll end up using. Not that I really want enemies to come towards me. That's what Whistle does. It kind of just summons an enemy <laughs> to fight. Ooh, a lot of these are expensive. Oh, you get heal as well? Let's start working towards that. No skill points left. Oh, you only got four. All right, sure. Humanity increases. He just rested at the bonfire. Focus on the main weapons. That sounds fair too. Ooh, this cave looks kind of cool. Oh wait, there's another path back here. Swords, axes, that sounds about right. I probably will do that too to start out with. I feel the compulsion to go through both of these pads. At the very least, because I can see the enemies. Let's just quickly run through this one. Just gun it. Can I run in this game? Who the hell? Are you the merchant? Welcome! I came to look at the waterfall and I stumbled upon this cave! A waterfall cave! It's so intriguing! I was trying to explore, but I've gone and got myself completely lost! And don't get me started on that brute of a monster blocking the path of ahead! If you're thinking of going any distance into the cave, take my advice and get your fighting skills up to a decent level first. Level, huh? Level 5, maybe? <laughs> There's some treasure over there. Hold on, let's go get it. You can buy seed skills that give you 5 points, but they're expensive. Well, if they technically are a way to get more points... I guess technically there is a way to get more. To max them out everything. You're wondering if there's a variety of endgame weapons? Yeah! So, here's the thing, I... Well, just judging by the cover art, and also the... Just anything I've seen of this game so far... Wait, there was a Draki here. I'm gonna fight it. Uh, there definitely aren't as many characters in your party as Dragon Quest XI. Oh, hell yeah. We gotta jump on him. So it kind of makes sense that each individual character gets a little more variety themselves. But yeah, to Blade's point, if everybody has a quote-unquote ultimate weapon, the thing to wonder is, do they each just get, like, one? Or maybe just one of each type? Hmm. Ooh, and I wonder how much their weapon sets overlap. Let me see. I wonder if there's a way to check what kinds of weapons they can use. This is like looking for a needle in an ice stack! How are we supposed to find a crystal ball in here, then, eh? We better go carefully here, Gov. Don't want to get ourselves hurt or nothing. I heard, I watched this video on YouTube called What Makes Dragon Quest 8 So Great, I think it was called. And uh, apparently the the voice actors for Yangus and Trode are somewhat famous in England, in Britain, in the UK, one of the above. Those are all slightly different things, or very different things, depending on how you, think, how you see it. Want to know the number of party members? I mean, I actually already know the answer. I'm just not going to say it in case anybody watching doesn't want to know. But I know the answer already. You definitely get less than 11. Well, you get less than the number 11, and you get less than the party members you get in 11. What is this guy? The dancing devil. Yeah, just stop shaking a leg. Cutting a rug. Who you think you are, Kevin Bacon? Foot, foot, feet, dance on your heckin' feet. There's bound to be some variety. You like spears for hero? Oh, what the little boot, dude? You wearing a Karibo shoe, little guy? Man! I'm finishing a thought from earlier. Earlier, I love that designs get reused in Dragon Quest, but I also like the fact that there's so many enemies that don't get reused. They just seem so new. You, Skipper. <laughs> of course. Of course, their name's Skipper. 
you like the smaller party, allows you to expand and focus. Yeah, and you know what? It's probably going to address one of the things that I feel tends to be a problem with a lot of RPGs. Not a problem, but it's something that I feel could be better. Oh, uh, Yangus is getting stopped. Literally. Yeah, next round I'm going to have to heal him. Youch! Super da ba do! Super da ba da! Super da ba da! Super da ba! Oh, I just re remembered something. I'll have to do it next time. You can actually change the battle speed in this game, just like you can in 11. But not in the PS2 version, apparently. Uh, let's keep going. I don't have a marker on the map. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. Hey. Uh, one of the problems I just have with a lot of other RPGs is, you know, every character in your party gets their little character arc, and then once they join, it kind of feels like they just immediately take the back seat to, like, either the main characters of the story or just whoever's turn it is to be the main character. What I really liked about Dragon Quest XI, and, you know, as a result, it may have been a little bit long of a game. I need to change the battle speed. I need to remember to do that. Speed. Fast. That's probably a lot better. Sorry, I'm immune to dancing. Never mind. No, I'm not. Got a little shuffle going on. Uh-oh. Nice schmooze, Yangi. What I like about Eleven is that they did keep, they did they did give a lot of characters in your party a chance to keep relevance. Like even late into the game, you get context for things they said so many minutes ago. Hopefully they didn't catch me off guard by hitting me in the back, did they? No, I think we're good. Da -ba -da -ba -da. And they have character arcs that span like all three acts of the game, and it's. It's just done so well. The pacing. The pacing feels natural at the expense of having just a long game in general. But I really liked it. I want to see what happens in this game. I want to see how well they evolve the character writing. Yuji Hori. He's a master of it, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. Let's go towards the axes. Reason you're not the biggest fan of a large cast? Yeah, like, if you think Chrono Cross is a large cast with, like, 50 characters, just imagine. I know in other streams, especially Druby stream, there, we've had discussions of how big certain games' casts can be. I think it was Xenogears we established has, like, 200 characters. Not Xenogears, but, like, uh, Xenosaga. Xenosaga is what I'm thinking of. Anybody know what we were talking about? A certain game had like 250 characters and they all have unique names and, and storylines. It's just for combat, fine, when it starts to affect story, that's why you prefer a table, a tactical RPG for a huge cast. See, that's nice because you can, a battle that sta spans a whole battlefield makes sense for tactical RPGs. Speaking of, is anybody picking up Fire Emblem Engage? I'm gonna call it Fire Emblem Engage. I got it in the works. Feel free to steal my idea, but I'm gonna make a Photoshop where Mr. Toothpaste main character is replaced by a Nokia Engage. Oh, I'm getting close to that zoom. Main character's gotta learn it, you know. Especially when the main character uses it to zoom to their own wedding. How am I doing on health? I'm doing good. The Dragon Quest VIII, they throw you into the middle of the journey. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, the beginning of this game is very in media res. You know, just, you know, sounded more sophisticated by, by throwing around throwing around my, my English clash lessons. Uh, I'm gonna heal Yangus next turn. I mean, I 
I feel like he'd probably survive another turn, but I don't feel too safe right now. Yay! Yeah, yeah, fire! Fire! You're out of MP already. Maybe I should... Oh, maybe I should attack something else, actually. Mischievous Mole's doing something nasty over here. I see you buffing up. There you go. In uh, the PS2 version of this game, they actually add a cutscene to the beginning. Thanks for the chickens. Wow, look at them go. They're helping the battle. But it's not really a cutscene. It's literally like one of the commercials to this game in in Europe or something, and they just tack it onto the beginning. Like they were afraid that people wouldn't understand what's happening. All it shows is uh, King Trode and Medea getting turned into their current forms. Just in case you couldn't piece it together from the dialogue in the game. Just in case. Uh, I think I'm beefy enough to go take on that. It's just a wacka! This ain't nothing, dude! You ain't nothing, bruv. This is like looking for a needle in an ice stack. How are we supposed to find a crystal? Oh, I already, get it. I already read that. Need the bounce? No problem. Have a good one, Blade. Can I just, can I just walk past this guy? Well, well. What the you hell? Must be really brave to come up and talk to me like this. I guess I am. That looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. This is the monster that the merchant said was strong. Final words, huh? Oh no. Anyway, as you've probably realized, you'll have to fight me if you want to go any further. Mm. What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? I am, but that doesn't mean I'm smart. Really? You are brave. That means you must be a good fighter. I'm scared. Mm. I don't know why I'm scared. Mm. I know. In recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. Ah! See? No need Up for violence. Go. Be careful now. <laughs> Can we fight anyway? Do you, by any chance, think I'm a bit of a wimp? Well, I'm not, I tell you. Is this guy even strong if at all? If you don't believe me, why don't you try your luck and fight me? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I will. Oh, really? <laughs> well, then I suppose that's decided. Let's fight. Oh, we fighting. Oh, them some fighting words. I'm probably going to die. Well, let me see what happens. Here, let me just, uh... Let me just, uh, psych up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Are you psyching up? We're all just having a little staring contest over here, Gov. Yeah, let's do it one more time. We're playing a little game of chicken. Whoever attacks first loses out on psych bonuses. Oh, you too, huh? You too, huh? Oh yeah, well I can psych up too. I'm scared. Okay, he's he's getting pretty psyched. Oh, I'm in a state of high psych. That means I can attack, right? Uh, I think Yangus can do it one more time. Ah! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, he's dead. Okay, little buddy. You caught me off guard. Oh. <laughs> but I suppose you want fair and square. Go on, you can pass. That's right, and don't you forget it. No hard feelings, all right? Nothing personnel, kid. E -e 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 -e. Oh, I... That's how I remember Hammer Hoods from other games. They might have super high critical chance, but also they miss. Why'd you do that? I don't know. He 
sounded like he wanted to fight. I was just, you know, taking him up on the offer. I was in the background, little guy. Very long nap. What is up? Last words, indeed. His last words. Hey, how you doing? You having a nice night tonight? We're just questing. Haven't seen any dragons yet, but I'm sure they'll come eventually. Oh, I can go upstairs and downstairs. For some strange reason, I feel like I want to go down. Going down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Where our good friend Spongebob lives and his snail Gary. Waterfall ahead! No littering! You no know loitering? Okay, what about if I go upstairs? You can pass. I feel like the purpose of that enemy is to teach you how strong psyching up can be. A little slime right there. Okay, bye. I'll let him live. I've committed enough violence today. We're done with Pokemon violence. We can do Dragon Quest violence instead. You wonder if Young Yangus has a fan translation, right? There's another PS2 game. It stars Yangus as a kid. Oh, hello. All right, I went the right way, AKA the wrong way. Take a look at this. Take a look at this if anybody hasn't seen it. Oh, a copper sword, hell yeah. I'm gonna kick some ass. I'm gonna kick ass and eat grass. Don't go the, don't, don't get those confused. You don't want to go around kicking grass. Came out on the PS2. I own it, of course, because it was only like 10 bucks from Japan. And look at him! Look at you! So young and full of energy. The years go by. What happened? No, still though, he's got he's got hair! That's Yangus! That says Yangus. That's Yangus! Look, he has the same little helmet he wears now. Look at the boy. It's another like mystery dungeon type game, right? And Torneco. We got some party members. Yangus definitely had a storied life, it seems like. I like the detail that Yangus already has a leather hat, because it's his hat. It's the hat he, he was born with. Yeah, oh geez. If he was born with that hat, I wonder. Probably wasn't a, a very nice experience for uh, Mama Yengis. Especially if it had those spikes on it. Ouch. I hope they have a fan translation. Dragon Quest V for the PS2. You heard me right, for the PS2. Has a fan translation. And it's really complete, by the way. I wonder. I might like to play that game some point. Since I've already streamed the DS version. Off stream, but, you know, maybe just post pictures. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, it does play the sound. Egg. It's part of the shell of the egg he hatched out of. That's one spiky egg. The only appearance of young Yangus in the West is Fortune Street. For the Wii, right? A playable character. How about that? Eat the Ducky Street. I think I saw that, that. That you know, I follow this Twitter account for it posts like daily photos of Princess Daisy from the games. It's just it's just floating there, menacingly. But yeah, they post a lot of pictures and they have like screenshots of Fortune Street. And Daisy's just like talking about economics because the game's about making money. <laughs> it's like, what's all these princess taxes, huh? Just because I'm royalty? A crystal ball is suspended in the air. Reach out and take it? I don't know. It doesn't have my name on it. Let me just take it from the side, just in case there's a trap. 
E, it's a wonder nobody's found this before. Wow. Ah! Wow. Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. I don't know if I can take him seriously. <laughs> what is that? Oh, how long has she been? How many people have gone and come? Why does he say it like that? Long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the truement of Moose. I don't want Moose. Does this Bristol call... Crystal Ball belong to you? Oh! Hey, this is one of those, 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 those Japanese folklore trick questions. I have to tell the truth, right? No, but I was sure you were the one. Oh, the long, lonely years. Golden, my wait continues. I'm sorry, Daffy Duck. Maybe someday you'll find somebody despicable. Despicable me. All right, let's do that again. Dang, this is a page on the Mario Wiki. Stuff like that what? that you never expect. Oh, hi. Yes, me. Giza, I'm the master of this waterfall. I can I, can I, can I tell you, can, can I say yes so you can stop now? Yes, 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 the Bristol call is mine. <laughs> At last. <laughs> At last we fit miss to miss. You half with human. Now I'll teach you a moron. I mean, a lesson you won't forget. This all happens at the beginning of the game. I bet it really leaves an impression on people not knowing what Dragon Quest is. All right, we psyching up. Actually, I need to heal Yangus. Oops. Yangus psychs up. Yeah, there you go. Now he's healed. Cursed. Cursed! Oh, I don't like that. Ow! Oh my god! That's a lot of damage! If he fights me again, I'm screwed. Uh, please, please, please don't attack me. Good. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ooh. Imagine dying to the first boss of the game. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me! Try sucking up some more. Stop with the cursing. Looks like all that does is waste my turn. Does he stay psyched up though? That's what I want to know. Let's see. You got the 50, high tension. You go back to five. It does waste attention. Damn. Oh crap. I can't waste this tension. I have to attack. Uh, medicinal herb. That's why I gave it. Ah, there you go. That's why I gave it to Yangus. Perfect. Yeah, I'm liking. I'm liking this battle system. It's simple, but it's tactical. That's where. That's where Dragon Quest shines. Ah, stop it! Why are you so strong? Honestly, I'm one hit away from death. He just. He hasn't attacked twice in a row. I don't want to. Jinx that. Jeez. Jeez, dude. I don't have any other abilities. All right, Yangus, you defend. Because you might be... You might die again. All right, let's try that again. I need to keep doing damage. I can't I can't just defend every turn. Alright, now I can heal. This is tough. I probably should have grinded a little bit. You got athletes in this game. Oh I know about that. 
I, uh, there's a, there's, there's, there's a patch that's out there that, let's just say, makes the outfits more accurate to the PS2 game. Do I have that patch? You'll just have to find out. You'll just have to find out. I can probably survive one move. I need to keep doing damage. I like that the curse keeps dissipating before it gets to me. I don't know why that's happening, but I like it. Gaza. Whoa! That was all my health, man. I'm gonna see if he just happens to maybe be close to death. Yeah. Oh! He was. <laughs> Good job, Yangus. You did it. Oh, my EXP. 107. Yangus receives 107 experience points. Good job, Yangus. I'll, I'll catch up eventually. It's fine. It's fine. I'm the main character. I'll get there. I'll get there. Six. Oh, the pain, the pain. Oh, my old wound. Ever since I got this, I've not been right quite. Ah, I can see. And it's all because of you. Me? What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. No. The shame. The shame. You only gave me a yes or no question, dude. You probably should have been more, so more specific. Strong. Strong enough to withstand I almost, I almost took on his verbal tick. I almost said sport no specific. Wait, could you be the waterfall rears many so humans? If this is called know? Arash's ball, then how'd it get down here? I hear that a castle called Trodain has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by thorns. And that only one person inside survived. One person? We know two people that made it out alive, but they're not quite on a journey. Survived. Leading a course and heart with a lone driver. Horse and cart. Oh. Wait. This is the cutscene that plays at the beginning of the PS2 version. Really? They couldn't wait, like, one hour? Oh, that's me! I was a little soldier boy? Look at my hat. Hello? Hey! I have a backstory, let's go. That was you! I don't know what you want with this crystal ball. Just smiling up a store. Like, can I have it though? But it's yours now. I accept the hand. Or is it defeat? Don't accept those. Well. One last You have a ball. Should you meet the true owner of this? Crystal ball. Ow. Tell him this from me. Thank you for presenting your attorney's badge. Would you like to submit more evidence? Don't throw things in the fall water. Hey, Onslaught, did you hear him? Don't throw things. Nobody throw things in the fall water. I better, I better not catch any one of you throwing anything. Right? Okay. Okay. Good. We're understood. Where he fell. Oh, the pain. The pain, the pain of my own. I'm glad. I said, don't throw anything. No. Yangus. 
Got it. What's up, Onslaught? Welcome on in. How's it going? We're just questing some dragons over here. Oh, good. I've revived with half Ow. Look, evidence. With half my health. And I will say... We're doing good. We're bringing a crystal ball back to a fortune teller so we can lead us... To the man who has cursed. Cursed the king so... I'm finally understanding more things about this game. Because, yeah, I... I've heard things bits and pieces on how the good, how good the characters are in this game. But up until now, I've not really, like, understood the story. All I know is there's a Yangus, there's a me, there's a mouse in my pocket. And, uh, you know. Oh! I pressed up thinking that was photo mode. I was going to take a picture with the, with the dude. Let's flee. Bye-bye. Here, let's take a picture with this shoe enemy. Up. Doo 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 doo. Why can't I take a picture with Yangus? Oh, here we go. Group photo. There should be a group photo. Oh, it doesn't let me group photo in here. Lame. Change pose at least. I can't change pose in here. Lame. Well, shoot. No fun photos allowed. We're in a dungeon. It's only serious time. His name is Munchie. What a little fella. What a little fella. I wonder if he was like the royal pet or something. Yeah, I finally learned that the hero actually is a subject of the king. That King Trodane, King King Ch 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 Chode, Trode. Damn it! I I tried so hard to not say that, and then I said something else. King Trode. That's his name. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Can't change poses. It lied to me. Victoria's Secret. Welcome. Interesting memories with this one. Did you play the PS2 version or did you play the uh, 3DS version? For anybody who just came in and is wondering, we are playing the 3DS version of this game with an orchestrated music mod and a texture pack. So hopefully it becomes the, the most definitive-ish version of the game you can play. Because besides that, the only real reason you'd play the PS2 version over this is... Less compressed sound a little bit. Um, if you want the random battles instead of the overworld battles. Maybe a little bit higher difficulty overall from having the random battles. And I believe... I believe on the PS2... In the PS2 emulators, you can actually set true 60 frames per second. Not like the patches they have for this version. The patches for this version just increase the animation speed. So they're 60, but they're also twice the speed. Apparently you get true 60 if you play on PS2. And they got like actual HG texture packs there. Like complete ones. So it probably looks real nice in that version of the game. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, is the merchant here? Apparently not, he was right here. You accidentally had a Vietnamese coffee with friends at 11 p.m. and then late until 8 a.m. Oh, oh, well, is that how Dragon Quest went for you? Honestly, if your if your childhood memories of RPGs aren't playing all night by accident, whether it's by coffee or just because the game is that good, did you really play RPGs as a kid? PS2, I see. Yeah, this was always one of those games I was aware of, but. I kind of fell off from RPGs around the PS2 era, to be honest. Like, when I was a kid, I played mostly Super Nintendo and PS1 RPGs at most. And that's what I grew up with. Earthbound, Chrono Trigger. That's why I'm so surprised it took me this long to get into Dragon Quest, but, you know. That makes sense if I fell off around the PS2 era. There really weren't that many Dragon Quests until PS2. At least in America. They were either on the NES up to 4, or... Dragon Warrior 7 on the PS1 is the only other one I could have played. And you know, I just missed out on that one. Most RPGs on PS2 just go... 
That's the sound of a disc loading. You got that right, Common. What's up, Mr. Ryder? How you doing? Welcome to Dragon Quest 3DS. Do you have memories of this game, Common? Are you gonna join, uh, Sprint's game... Uh, game book club? As we play this? I'm playing at a slow pace, but I want to ease into this world while we can. Let's see. What's Misk? Oh, there's an auto heal. That's nice. I'm out of MP though, so that's not gonna work. Tactics, skill points, lineup. Oh, can you change? The okay, never mind. It's just the same as every other game. Actually, let's put Yangus in the front. Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah, because he's beefier. Oh, I can play as Yangus? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is more than I've ever wanted. I didn't even know I wanted this so bad. I just wanted to put Yangus in the front because he's a beefy boy. Yo. Top tier world map, though. Thinking about those beans. Oh, we're so strong now. Hell yeah. I mentioned I've been testing out my PS2 lately. I don't know when it happened, but lately the disk drive has not been working as well. When I pop in an actual disk game, it takes literal minutes to start up. You know, it does that With all the towers and stuff. Which, by the way, are the height depends on how much memory you have on your memory card. Why is this cat so weird? I think it's just in the shade. Yeah. I like them. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Playing as Yangus is required for some speedrun strats. Is he faster? He's a this is a bucket. Nice bucket. Look at him go. I wish you could jump in this game. You can't. You're not in the Dragon Quest. You need to give Eleven a chance. There's a phase where you got into PS1 and PS2 RPGs. You should play Eleven. It's super long, but it's worth it. Con plans to do it another month? Well, when you do. Especially since you just got a new PC. Hell yeah. Look at this man. It's like if you took Hendrick and you just kind of melted him and stretched him out a little bit. Right? Just give him just give him that Giga Chad chin. Ah, uh, you're travelers, eh? Just like me. Always best not to ask travelers where they're going, I say. We all have our own personal reasons, after all. Wearing somebody else's face as a mask? Don't give anybody ideas. By the long face. Yeah. Outside town, you'll go. Oh, you've already read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven keeps being this really high part of your backlog, but then games come out at the right time. That's fair. But do it, or else you never will. You'll never guess what. Some freaky monster managed to get into town, but we all managed to chase it away in the end. Wait a minute. Whoa. Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Engage? Oh yeah. This is the second time I've lost a friend in a fire, you know. Master Rylus could be an intractable old fellow, but he was a good man at heart. You could never be too careful around fire, young man. What? You can't be too careful about water either? I don't know what you mean, but I'm sure you're right. Never hurts to be prudent. I just like to imagine Yangus was the one who said that. Yeah, but what about water, though? I heard waters can be pretty dangerous too, you can't breathe it. At least you can kind of breathe fire. You know, you know like those fire breathers they got at the, at the carnival. Aye. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, let's get some weapons. Uh, of course, Yangus uses the clubs. Giant mallet. Look at that, it's like twice the amount of attack. Copper sword. I already have a copper sword, that's right, I found one. Well, you can get a boomerang. I'm tempted to get the boomerang. I wonder how it works in this game. Because some games they can attack all the enemies. Some games they can only attack all the enemies in a group. Uh, I'll save my money for now, but I'll consider it. Let's get the mallet. A giant mallet, eh? Who's gonna carry the goods? The Yangus. Do you want to equip it now? boo 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 
that's the thing about Dragon Quest music, it never fails to make you nostalgic. No matter which game you play first, apparently. They all just share it all. Oh! Hold on! Valentina is such a wonderful child to dear Kalarasha, it's almost as like she was her real father. Oh dear me, I'm blabbling again. I never should have said that. Pretend you didn't hear it. She's adopted? I mean, am I too surprised? I guess Kalarasha foresaw that he'd never have a wife. Oh, dang. The water dialogue only happens after the fall water? No way, that's funny. What do you mean, Gov? Oh, well, you know what I mean. There might be monsters hanging around in it. I saw you, you know. I saw you and young Valentina talking outside town in the middle of the night. So what were you talking about? Did she ask you something? Oh, you've already done it for her. Well, that's wonderful. I am. Right, before I go talk to her, let's go save at the church. Yangus is a religious man. He needs to go confess his sins. And there are many to confess. Ba -da -da -da. Shove it up, shove it up. Interesting. I wonder why the one outside takes confessions at night. Well, there's a priest in here now. Oh, I see. Faithful servant of the cultish, how may I Yes. SD card? Why does it say not to remove from the SD card, I wonder? You only get two save slots in this game. I I feel a little constricted. I'm sure that's more than enough, but I like to I like to rotate my saves. Even if a game doesn't really need it. Hello? Yangus can read? It appears to be an old journal of some kind. The great wizard finally reached Fairbury after a long and arduous journey. Welcoming such a great sage to our town is a truly unparalleled honor. Long may the sage and his descendants stay in the town of Fairbury. Huzzah! Let me check something real quick. You notice that Yangus picked up that book on the second shelf, right? I wonder. Oh, he picks up the same book. For a second, I thought he'd bring up, like, the higher one. I wonder if this is talking about Rylus or somebody else. Da, da, da. That's exactly how the priest sounds. See, I'm glad everyone is on the same page. Any holy underwear in here? Ah, just a pot lid. Holy pot lid. AKA, it has a lot of holes in it. That's how you make holy water. The heck? There's this whole, like, area back here. Can I ring the church bell? Ding dong! Ding dong! Dinner served! Come and get it! No? Eh, it is nice to be up here, though. I heard that they used to use church bells as a way to warn people that storms were coming. To be like, hey, get inside, lightning might strike you. But then what ended up happening was that the lightning was attracted to the metal bells of the of the church bell tower. And it ended up killing more people than probably would have been saved by the fact that the bell was warning them about the lightning. Because, you know, you can clearly see that there's rain coming. You don't need a bell to ring to tell you that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of unfortunate. All right, who can make this? Who can use this pot lid? Let's see. Oh, just me? Okay. I also wonder, uh, how much space is in the bag. Hope infinite. You know a man died here in a fire. Thought I'd say a prayer. A bit of a looker, heir of a great sage. They are talking about... Well, they were talking about Rylus. Here, I'll save again. I just got some stuff. Might appreciate this. You got a lame day at work. You get home and... You were uplifted by Lumpia on the table. Oh, that's nice. Coming back home to food on the table. That's something that... You know, that's something I've not really experienced. 
At least not with work. I mean, school, you can have bad days at school, but it's it's different. At school, you get, you know, string cheeses when you get home. A little juice box, because you get picked up by your parents. Or maybe you took the bus, I don't know. But for me, it's like... Pretty much my whole adult life, I'm just like, well, when I want food, I have to make it and or order it myself. So... Man. That's nice. Just thinking about that. Alright, I need to go to Valentina. I almost forgot while I was here. I just cannot get over Yangus' little running animation. He's so... He's so... He's so perfect. Hut, 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 The man's really walking with his whole body. Hi, Coloretta. I knew you would return before long. Why is his dialogue, like, extra compressed? And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. Okay, so do you want the crystal ball or not? But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. That's the M.O. for an and RPG you hero. you your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. Do you not want to see the future? What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Would you like to tell me? Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Damn, we should have raised our social link levels. Social link, go! Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! No! Stop! Please stop, father! I know! Oh. I've known for ages! I know where you threw away your crystal ball. You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Ah... Uh, imagine if I didn't talk to that one lady outside. Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Their death? What's going on here? Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Well, he must have foreseen something that could have prevented their deaths, and then... Or maybe that's why he was talking about in the bar, like, you prevent one disaster and it causes something greater. Maybe he tried to prevent something bad from happening and it killed her parents. He felt so bad that he took her in as his own. Oh. Because you were just fortune-telling. Just doing what you do best. Knowing the future is a troublesome burden. I was too young to remember, but you were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Oh. Why is Mr. Back Satan then, so mean? There was nothing I could not see. The great Calderasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Believe it or not. Fortune telling was my life. It was my soul. Never thought I could feel so free. He <laughs> he. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad. I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, father. My other theory was that maybe he foresaw that his daughter would die, and that's why he didn't want to see the future anymore. Like, everything he saw leading up to it was happening before his eyes, and he couldn't live with not being able to stop it. So he decided to just stop seeing the future. And that ties into like, oh, he, everything he says is wrong, because he doesn't want to believe it. You're a good Okay, that's man. not what happened, but... That'd you also took be sad. me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby, I Bed -bed. want to see it for myself. 
I want to see the great Kaldarasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. You just barely started. This is already so touching. Oh, my sweet Valentina. Do it for her, man. She's counting on you. You can't protect her forever. Be a good dad. And apparently let us sleep in your bed. Yangus has Kaldarash's bed. That's gonna smell in the morning. Smell of pure manly musk, that's what. Alright, time to recreate some photos. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Medea moves out of the way. Dead! What did she do? What did she see? What happened here? Keep this photograph! Oh, I can only keep 100! Dang! Can I export these to, like, the SD card or something? Special pose! Ding dong, the Yengis is dead. Wonderful! Send these to Professor Oak. Dun dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, oh! Dun 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 dun! Yo, Yangus' neck is alright. I hope my body's alright. Did you see me do a little gay down? Ah, foo! Ah, foo! Looks like he's zonked out out for the count. We zonking. We zonking out here. Da 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 da. Hello? Thanks for letting so us stay. So you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You must have been exhausted. Yeah, I died. I must thank you and your friend. Glad that the game doesn't force us to resurrect at the church. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. I probably would have if it wasn't a story battle. But uh, I'm alive. Many years nice. have passed it's a big ball. since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. Whoa! What is this? Uh-oh. Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. This is the future? Yes, the mists are clearing. No, oh, this is not the future, boy. This is the present. This is happening right now. Oh, he's breaking into my front door. Oh, oh, I see you very dead. That'll be $20. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes. Quick, pay me before yes. you die. Yes, the mists are clearing. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed. But there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos' former pupil, Dolmagos. Oh? What? <laughs> Go. He said Dolmagos, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician. You and the old granddad are after, isn't it? It is. So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? Man's just sprinted out of bed. I can't get up out of bed that fast. We're making some earthquakes. What else? The old Magnus. You know, you know, you play Chrono Trigger and you're like, whoa, this Magus guy, he's so evil. There can't be someone twice as evil as him. Oh no, wait. Dual Magus? <gasps> We're screwed. <laughs> well, what's this? Hey? Yes, no question. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Looks like there's a grain of rice stuck to it. <laughs> it must have hit something very hard to do this damage. Yeah, some fish dude's and head. look, someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? What? Half-wit? Oh, Who's the half-wit? Um, what's, what's going on? Why am I hearing things? What, exactly? what is happening? Why am I hearing things? Who is saying things? Who's talking to me? Am I in a voice chat somewhere? Hello. Hold on, what's going on? Why am I hearing... Can people hear that? Oh, you're here. Who's, who yes, is that? Uh, I mean, spoilers for Elden Ring, I'm here. Who is... 
What is? How is? What's happening? You don't instantly recognize we're here. I have, I'm on Maybe Twitch. Oh, oh, that's. Is that? Who raided? What the hell? You can hear this. Um, nothing's. You haven't heard anything anywhere, any, any up until now, right? I had a Twitch tab open and then somebody raided. Oh, you know what happened? Because I unmuted to listen to Druby stream, when that person raided, it unmuted the tab. <laughs> it unmuted the tab that somebody raided into. Okay, well that's cool. Don't worry about it. You what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever, I'll come and gov. I'm coming on, I'm coming on. Well, that just confused me. What are we doing? We're coming on, Gov? Oh, Gov! Oh, Gov. Oh, Gov, oh, Gov, oh, Gov. There is something troubling you, I see it. Come, tell me. So, you came to ask Rylis for information about Dulmagis. But the old man was already dead. And now my crystal ball illuminates the mysterious circumstances surrounding his death. Yes, it was Dulmagis himself who murdered Rylus. Perhaps he is trying to eliminate everyone who knows who he is. Or perhaps he has other motives. Even I do not have all the answers. But through the mist I see this Dulmagus breaching the checkpoint as he moves south. There is a small village called Alexandria in that direction. I can tell you no more. Thank you for everything you have done. I wish you good fortune on the journey ahead. Can I say goodbye to Valentina, at least? Thank you so much! You've been so kind! I know he can seem a little twisted, but he's changed! I can see it in his eyes! That sparkle! I'm sure that's the old god Darasha, the one I never knew! I know he's not my real father, but that doesn't matter to me! You might find it hard to believe, but he was such a wonderful father to me when I was a child! Oh dear, then I go again! I'm such a chatterbox! You have to go now, don't you? Would you pass on a message to your little green friend for me? Just tell him I said thank you. I hope King Trochoad is up is okay out there. He's basically been out there for like two days now. Hmm. Alright, let's go, Gov. Hang on a minute, wait. <laughs> wait for him. He's the party leader. Can't wait for me to see Dual Magus. I mean, he's on the box! I know what he looks like! He's on the box of the game! He do be a silly man, though. Brown, brown bread? Oh, heavenly goddess. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Ah, uh, this angle. Oh, in action? Yeah, he's probably gonna kick my shit in. Probably. Da -da 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 -da. Can I make this a group photo? King Trode take, get, get a pose. They don't have a special pose together. Okay, he'll just be there. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm sorry, but we're closed during the day. Then why'd you let me in? <laughs> me too, Yangus. <laughs> da da da. Ba ba da ba ba da. We're on our next point of the journey. Yeah, you know what? Yuji Horii's always said that he likes to write games as if they were manga, as if they were anime. This is just... This is like anime. Like, you got your little intro segment. Go go help the fortune teller. Go find the crystal ball. And that's our just our little intro to the game. But now... We're on our way to the real meat of the story. Hey, have you heard? Everyone says Mr. Calvarash has been reborn! But I didn't even know he died! I don't understand! It's alright, kid. 
You'll understand when you're older. And you two have lost the spark in your eyes. Something's been bothering me. There was a strange man here before. He was dressed like a jester, so I thought maybe he was some kind of traveling entertainer. But I had something creepy about him. I was a lot more worried about him than that funny looking monster we had here before, that's for sure. You have the right instinct, dude. If you could... If, if only everybody else in this town was as tolerant as you. Yeah, here, I probably should have uh, bought a couple more herbs. Herb. I'll buy, like, two... Can I not buy multiples? Oh, that's gonna... Hmm. Maybe I can, because it says times one. Oh, here we go. That's how you buy multiple. Here, let me just put those in the bag. Cool. Uh, what other... What else can I buy while I'm here? I'll save it for the next town, because... Probably I'll get better equipment over there. You feeling me, G? No, no, no. Alright, you know, I'm not feeling too upset about not having a first-person mode anymore. Photo mode more than makes up for it. Give it a little Naruto run. So, what happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? Well? I did. That's how he sounds. What? Domegus killed Master Rylus? The same Domegus we're looking for? He's so anime! That fiend killed his own teacher? He was objecting. And you say Put up the Phoenix Wright music. Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him at once. Let's be on our way. Alexandria, huh? I wish I could remember... I, I wish I could remember the towns that I've been to in Dragon Quest XI in the in the in the in the, in the, in the Tickington quests. Cause that a lot of those are gonna be my first time seeing a lot of the characters that I should meet in these games. Like, oh yeah, I was here in the past, but actually the future. I must set right what once went wrong. Thinking about the rings. But the town's to the south. The other path went to the waterfall. I'm assuming you have to go this way. Look at this. We're traveling on the wild, wild world out here. It does feel a bit weird that I'm not on a horse, considering we have a covered wagon. But, uh, sure, we'll hoof it. Carl Rosha reckons Doom Magus is headed south out of February. As far as I can remember, that town Alexandria is down that way. Why don't we try a look there? Hey, Nate. I'll try it. I see a windmill over there. Hey, hey, I'm not your friend. I'm not your buddy. Go away. Don't you dare touch me, Philoctetes. I don't need to be zero to hero. How can I make a man out of you? That is Mulan. That is not Hercules. <laughs> I can go the distance. I want to be able to, like, pan the camera up. I want to look at that tree, but I guess they don't want to... What is that? Oh, what happening? Huh? Am I playing Pokemon? Did I just touch an invisible enemy? It was probably under me and I didn't have the camera pan. Oh, we're fine. King Trode might actually kill you if you try to ride his horse daughter. Well, you know, maybe not ride her. <laughs> that doesn't sound nice. Just but like be in the wagon. Just like the fact that we don't see the wagon, you know? It's a little weird. <laughs> Who's stunned to move? Why did this enemy have like a little icon? What up with that? Smooth. Give me a why make it real, don't you forget about it. This is a strong boy. 
Maybe that's what it says. It's an extra strong enemy or something. Shibbity bop 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 boo. Well, that's good. Ooh, hell yeah. Courage. Well, yeah, let's get some of that zoom. Finally. Ding, king. How about the beans? Tingle. I don't know if I want a Kulu Limpa, but it is a f fair bit of points to the next ability. Let's level something else. Ding, king. How about the beans? I'm going to focus on swords for now. And then, you know, once I get a spear, we can start focusing on spears. Courage increases. The courage to set forth on his journey. Zoom. Copper monster coin? Oh, that's probably what that is. That icon probably means monsters that drop monster coins. I know that's a thing in the other games. It's probably just like collectibles for your monsterpedia or something. I know every mile would be worth my while. Beauty and the beast. I don't think... <laughs> Is that how that song goes? I'll believe you, Common. I never watched either of those, maybe. I haven't watched Hercules in so long. I think, you know what? I think the last time I watched Hercules was in the theater as like a wee lad. I don't think I ever watched it on like home video or anything. For some reason, I never, you know, a lot of movies like show up on TV and that's when you catch them again, back in the day. They just, you just happen to flip through the channels and you notice, Oh, hey, Back to the Future's on channel 14. Might as well watch the rest of it. I missed the first half hour, but hey, you know, I know how that goes. What are you? Can't see the wagon, but you can hear it. Is this a common Rider? <laughs> He's got a stag beetle head and a scarf. Maybe he is a common Rider. Not a very... Benevolent one. Beetle boy! Beetle boy! This is Kamen Rider's estranged brother. Big bad beetle borgs. Big bad beetle borgs. Oh, you know why Yangus didn't level up? Because Yangus already leveled up in the boss battle. That's why. Da 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 da. Yeah, next level up, I'll probably have Yengis move towards his heel. Oh, night is falling. That's not good. Your distant uncle, Johnny Metabot. Hmm, I see. Oh, hello? What level am I, actually? That was not what I meant to press. I might not be the sharpest tool in the box, but I know one thing. An enemy of yours is an enemy of mine too, Gov. An Eminem in me. And I'm level. I'm level six. Not bad. I'm assuming it's past this bridge. Oh man, if Dual Magus went this way, he definitely did a bit of damage. Look at these gates. Environmental storytelling. You don't gotta tell me twice. What is that? Something went by that rock. Common only saw the Disney movies back in elementary school days where they show you a movie during lunchtime. Oh, you know what we watched back then. Land Before Time, uh, The Sandlot maybe during the rainy days. You know, they wheel out the old little CRT TV. Maybe that's how I get a, a CRT TV. I go by like elementary schools and ask if they have the, on any old like TVs on wheels. Offer them to, offer to buy them like new ones. The Page Master. The two Tickington quests bring you to Chateau Felix. Oh, I remember that. And Tr Trodane Castle. Oh. That's a castle we saw in the cutscene. Alright, Yengis. Time to become more human. You know what I should be doing? If I'm not going to be leveling anything up right away, I might as well just save the skill points, because you can do that, it seems. You can allocate them in the menu, so why why commit? Oh, I have a ability, right? Helm Splitter. Can't be used unless an axe is equipped. Oh, I have a club. What am I doing? 
Oh shoot. Well, that's a... See what I mean? That's a bit of a waste of points already. That sucks. Look at that Tonberry with a bow. The Bodkin archers. I like the Bodkins. They're very Akira Toriyama. Mmm, I like that. Oh, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little beat up. Am I awake yet? I am not awake yet. Uh, here, herb. Man, I'm so weak to start out with. Oh, I do have heal. Back. Please, please stay alive. We got a CRT from a thrift store, that's an option. Here's the thing, thrift stores don't even take CRTs anymore, so anyone that has one still will be, it's just old stock. That's the sad thing. There, there's there's an ongoing project. I forget what the website is, but they have a website. It's like save the CRTs dot org dot com something. But it's just the fact that CRTs, oh, I accidentally healed twice. The fact that CRTs are just basically thrown away or scalped these days. They need to have like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I wish would happen? I wish there'd be a company out there that would make brand new CRTs with modern inputs specifically for retro gaming. Because I've looked at eBay. I've looked at all the all the listings they have now. You search for a CRT, just a CRT, just like search for old TV. And every listing says like, retro gaming. Yeah, perfect to play your retro games. And they list a TV that doesn't even have inputs except for like RF. Or a TV that literally has no inputs. And I'm like, how is this for gaming? You're just putting it up there so you get more money on the listing. I don't care about gaming. I healed on the wrong... <laughs> I need to read these menus. If you guys ever want me to pull out the bottom screen, feel free to ask in the chat. You're not missing much. I'm gonna try... Oh. I'm gonna try to announce whenever a character is running low on HP. Uh-oh. Yeah, I would like to have a... like to have a boomerang right about now. Oh, jeez. They weren't kidding. Enemies are stronger at night. Send you mine, but that costs too much to mail. Thank you for thinking of me, Twig. I have I have CRTs at, at my parents' house. I I'm looking for S Sony Trinitrons or like EDPVs that were out back in the day that take component cables. They were only sold for a small period of time, but that's the holy grail. Those are TVs that have like really nice video quality for the time. I'm lucky because at my parents' house we do have an EDTV. I can't bring it to my apartment though because it's like 40 inches. And you, could you imagine how thick a 40 inch CRT is with the whole dumpy in the back? That is just, that just is too much. I could not bring that anywhere. I, I keep using the wrong moves. I'm wasting all my MP. I don't think it used any MP, which is nice, actually. Hopefully I'm going to Alexandria. Ariel Draco, what's up? You like chicken adobo? I like chicken adobo, too. It's important to like yourself. You don't think you fought these guys before? The, the little common Riders? The Beetle Boys? They're, like, everywhere. All right, I don't know where I am, but I'm going to have to take a little pit stop. I literally thought it was about to go. Da 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 da. What is this place? Trunks? Halt! Who goes there? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? Don't waste your breath, scoundrels! I can spot bandits a mile off. Shit! He's onto us. This is for Alistair. Come on, Mash! Let's get him! Mash? Yes, sir, Bangers! Bangers and Mash! Prepare to meet your maker! 
is so British. <laughs> it is so... I'm not gonna fight a kid! What the hell? I am Groot. Uh, let's intimidate what on them. What are you two rascals up to now? Stop it at once. Thank goodness. I was just gonna try to scare them off. <laughs> Thank you, saved there by the old lady. Manners. That's no way to welcome travelers. Imagine attacking these guys. Can you though? I didn't even try. I didn't dare try. No! Go to an old elementary school. Go to your old elementary school. Say you're an alumni and walk out with the TV. I don't even think they have those anymore. They probably threw them out years ago. Didn't Miss Jessica ask you to run Jessica. an errand for her? And here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot. You'd better run along before Jessica finds out. That's a name I know. Yikes. Zoinks. I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. You know when... When a young woman is clearly doing an old woman voice? There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home. I'm not saying that's what happened in here. I'm just saying, you know when that happens? <laughs> Where are we? Did she say the name of the village? Wherever we are, I, I would like to have a little pit stop and a rest. They probably timed out the day-night cycle so that you'd get here right when night fell. I could take on the enemies here, but I don't want it to spend too long. Did you see Yangus just nosedive right in there? Hold on, I want to see that again. Look, look at him. Out of you! <laughs> Man, looking like a basketball. <laughs> Nothing but net. What the hell? How come this game is so damn charming? Level 5, what did you do? You did something good, that's what. Why is not level 5 made another Dragon Quest, huh? Master Alistair came from an important family, but he never lorded it over us. He always guarded the village for us, you know. What a terrible waste, a lovely boy like him being killed like that. Killed. What is this? It's cat. Yo. Hello again. Sorry those little rascals were causing you grief before. No doubt you've heard of the Albert family. They live in the mansion on the top of the hill. Hmm. Lady Rosalind and Miss Jessica have shut themselves away inside ever since Alistair's death. The poor lambs. The night's upon us now, but you could go and have a look in the morning if you're interested. Hmm. Now that is a name that I'm aware of. Jessica Albert. I mean, that sounds like a name you'd find in Resident Evil, right? Because in Resident Evil, all every character is named like Jill and Chris and Robert and Brad and <laughs> Jessica. Jessica sounds like a, a very Resident Evil name. Master Alistair's father passed away, so although he was still young, he was the head of the Albert household. I just can't believe this has happened. I dread to think how his poor mother and sister, Miss Jessica, must be feeling. I must be hitting Miss Jessica particularly hard. The pair of them were always inseparable. Hmm. Alistair Albert, huh? Queen Miku, hello, hello. You doing good tonight? It is pretty late. Are you getting enough sleep? I'm a peddler. I travel around selling my wares. I came through the western chart point to get here. It was very strange. It looked like it had been broken open by some kind of terrifying horse. I wonder what it was. I wonder too, because if he's not here, then where? Well, dear goddess, hear the plea of a poor old man. Please let the Alexandra Day's pilgrimage go ahead this year. This is Alexandria. It fills my heart with joy seeing the beautiful angles of the statue of Alexandra. And the voluptuous curves of the statuesque Miss Jessica. Old man! This guy's doing some dangerous things. I see some I see some images have just been added to the Minokodobo stream channel, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder where these came from. 
Ah, what's her name in Japanese? Mimosa. Mimosa? Wait, what? Is that what that says? That's not what that says, is it? Name's not Mimosa. Miriam. Wow. Anyway, why did I just like stop on this line? Iku did some ghost games, took a shower. Well, that sounds like a nice relaxing night. Heck yeah. We're about to meet someone, I believe, pretty soon, who I... I, I, I I've just been... I've just been excited to meet this entire game. Just because I hear they're pretty good as a character. You know, their, their character... Personality... <laughs> it is Mimosa? Well, Mimosa, but still, like... Her name's Mimosa, that's funny. I guess that kind of sounds like a Spanish name, maybe. <laughs> yes, character. Wow, nice boat, Common. Gonna take a ride in that? I mean, what? <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't with this song. It makes me think it's gonna do It's a Small World. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of sadness, a world of fear. There's so much that we dread. It's time to go to bed. It's a nightmare after all. Yengis raids everybody's closets. They only go to the Eastern Tower once a year on Alexandra's Day, a holy day when there are no monsters about. It's still quite a way off, but my father's already down in the dumps about not being able to go this year. Who are you? I don't understand. Only people from our village are supposed to be able to open the door to the Eastern Tower, so how did the killer get inside? Everyone's saying it must have been a thief, but I'm not so sure. Thieves, huh? Y'all better watch out for thieves. Here, I'll just take custody of this Chimera Wing so that no thief can get their hands on it. Thank you, bye. Mimosa is an herb. Oh, really? I only know the drink. Is that Jessica's house? Listen to this. I just saw a man at the Albert Mansion claiming to be Miss Jessica's fiance. Who dares? Look at the text. They didn't, they didn't HDify the eh. How can a slimy looking character like that be marrying her? I just don't believe it. It can't be true. You jealous? They said I have to come in the morning, but hey, let's see what happens if I try to go now. Oh, there's a dude. Oh no. This must be Alistair. There's an inscription that reads, Here lies my dearly beloved son, Alistair. F in the chat. They made you learn how to do this when taking computer classes way back? Doing what? Mimosa? This is the Albert family mansion. I'm afraid I can't let you in at night. You'll have to come back in the morning. Hmm. Half in the chat. It's a small world? Learn how to do it's a small world? Like playing it at a MIDI? That sounds like torture. <laughs> Well, hope everybody relaxes if you're coming on in. There, we got we got happy times, we got sad times, we got youngest times, we got everything you could ever need on this stream. King of Adventure. Newsflash: You can get uh, different information from the same people depending on whether it's day or night. It's like a town has two faces. And remember, the things you hear may not sound particularly important at first, but you never know what can come in handy later on. But the rule is, talk to everybody. Right? Video games. This man is about to fall off the bed. Well, if that's how he feels comfortable sleeping. Miss Jessica was always following her brother around even when she was really small. She can seem a bit of a tough nut at times. But deep down, she's actually quite timid. Mm -hmm. Daddy, daddy. Welcome to our inn, really, travelers. You must be exhausted. Four gold coins. What a ripoff. You think I got that kind of money? What the? King Tro, what you doing? What is that? Working through the night, King Tro repaired the broken handgun. <laughs> it's a handgun? 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Veronica? That's probably hers. I trust you had a restful sleep. Please come again. Oh, nobody's here. Based Trode. Da -da 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 Let's just say that there's a reason I haven't sold any old weapons so far. I heard there may be something in this game. My dad says the women like Miss Jessica are really fab -a We're doing this, huh? What do you think he means? I wonder if I can be fab -a Maybe someday, kid. Maybe someday. I'm a peddler! I travel around selling my wares! Oh, it's the same guy. Hmm... You gonna say the same thing? Huh. Huh! Huh! Of a vroom! She's a motorbike! What does that imply? I don't know if I want to think about that. We always go and see the statue of Alexandra once a year. It's what keeps me hanging on, you know. You're all supposed to be going again not long from now, but I doubt that'll be possible under the circumstances. Were you the old man talking about the curves? No monsters about. Still a ways off. Oh, that's why. Now I have the context. Rev of Room! She's a Pokemon! Alright, who is named a Rev of Room, Vava Voom? I don't. Mm, I'm not. Mm, I'm not. Mm, I'm not. I'm not too sure about. Mm, I'm not too sure about that. Welcome to the Albert family residence. That's the grave of poor Alistair Albert, who passed away just recently, and he was such a kind young lad. Whoa. I feel strongly for this part of the game. I should probably switch back to not Yangus, just for the sake of the story. Yangus. Among us. Hello. There was never any need for a guard here in the past. I was hired just after Master Alistair died, so I'm quite new here, really. That doesn't mean I'll be putting up with any shenanigans, though. Make sure you behave inside the mansion, do you hear? Oh, I'll behave. Yeah, baby. This place is huge. What a mansion! Is this the dining room? This is where I find the first zombie. What is this place? Wow, what a mansion. Look at how rude I am. I just don't close the doors behind me. What? <laughs> There's a secret to the door of the Eastern Tower. Only people from our village know how to open it. But Master Alistair found it open one day. That's why he went inside to find out what was going on. And then someone or something attacked him and oh, it's so unfair. If it's only people from the village who know how to open it, you don't think there's a murderer living among us. I saw them, you know, Miss Jessica and her poor mother arguing like cats and dogs. What were they arguing about? I don't rightly know. Something about revenge, that's all I could gather. Oh, sorry, I must have the... I, I, I'm an adventurer, it is law, that I must... Cheese! That I must break your pots. You know the rules. Please appreciate the art. I may have played the beginning of Portal 2 recently, just to, you know... Just to remind myself how good it is. Just say Apple! You know, if you can hear me, just say Apple! The first Dragon Quest game to get voice acting in Japan is actually Dragon Quest Heroes 1. Oh, you know what? I was also watching, like, some of the character intros. I forget if it was Heroes 1 or 2, but I was watching, like, Jessica and uh, a certain other character uh, joining the heroes. I was watching, like, Alina and uh, Kirill. Torneko, just a whole bunch of characters I know from the other games having actual full like animation and voice acting. It's so cool. It's like exactly how I imagine them. Because a game like this, it's like reading a book, right? Where you you kind of have to imagine what the people sound like in your head. And yeah, you see them on the screen, but sometimes you have to imagine how they move, how they act, how they how they really inflect 
And when you see that happening in a large scale in the games themselves in Dragon Quest Heroes, like, I, uh, I want to show one, but I don't want to show one for Jessica because we haven't met her in this game yet. Hold on, let me, let me think of a good character to show. Maybe, maybe I'll show Torneco. How about that? You guys want to see Torneco in Dragon Quest Heroes? Dragon Quest Heroes Torneco. Dun 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 Actually, this one is Alina, Kiro, and maybe Torneco? Yeah, let's watch this real quick. Uh, I don't know a safe way to... to... Pause this. Yeah, that'll do. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. Please wipe your ass. What? I was up, I was gonna sing, I was gonna sing the song from Shrek One. Uh, it was like, <laughs> uh, keep off of the grass, shine your shoes, wipe your face. <laughs> anyway, here's Dragon Quest Heroes. Is it? Something's coming this so that's way. like the main party of the game that's not from any other game. And then they're like, what's that? There's somebody there. Look at him! Torneco, the rogue trader. He's wielding an abacus. You're in a what now? Does anybody understand him? Huh? Does anybody <laughs> understand him? <laughs> I see. Only one thing for it then. Let's give him the old brush off. Is that Yuri Lowenthal? I think that's Yuri Lowenthal. Is this Yuri Lowenthal? I think it's Yuri Lowenthal. This guy's from Dragon Quest IV. And as you can see, we got a couple of other friends from Dragon Quest IV, too. <laughs> Kirill, the advanced lancer. I am unscathed, Charlie Ricks? It's not Yuri Lonto? I feel betrayed. <laughs> Look, more Come archers. On. Alina, the queen of combos. Tornado. Tornado? Corneco. You are unharmed, I hope. More characters from Dragon Quest IV. Not for you, I would be thoroughly punctured. Please, They're basically Sarifna, from Russia. Your person from damage is only my duty. But not really. Those warming words hit me to the very hub. Kirill, now is not time for daydreams. He has a crush on her. Still requiring a Yes, yes, yes. It is Sarifna. very obvious. It is very obvious in the games. Man, is this Heroes 2? Yeah, it's Heroes 2. I'm liking it. Dragon Quest 4 is so underappreciated. There it is! I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys until that part. Cause that that character is famous for Thwack. Basically in the game it's like He doesn't have very good attack. But his only offensive move is really thwack, so it's like, you can do like one damage that's not really gonna help you kill the enemy, or you can instantly kill him, so I mean, why not cast the whack? The AI seems to think that way. To be honest, I never really liked Miss Jessica all that much. Uh, don't tell anyone I said so, though. Ah, uh, that's scandalous. She's never really friendly to us house staff, and she's always arguing with her poor mother as well. I do sympathize with her now. I mean, her only true friend in the world was her brother, Master Alistair, but now, she, now she's all alone. Dang. You hitting me with the tragic backstory? We haven't even met her yet. Oh, are you travelers? What a life that must be. I wish I could leave all this behind and go with myself. What you looking at, my rat? Oh dear, listen to me. If the mistress heard me, I'd be out of my ear. No choice but to travel. Maybe you want to be thrown out on your ear. Oh good. Now we can go to the second floor. 
Ragnar got added in the Switch port of Dragon Quest Heroes 2. That's even more Dragon Quest 2 4 characters. Who else? Are there any more Dragon Quest 4 characters I should know about? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Congratulations! You have the great pleasure of meeting I, the world famous poet Lorenzo! Not only am I the son of the Chancellor to a large and prosperous kingdom, but I'm also the lovely Jessica's fiance. <laughs> yes, that's me. She lost her brother recently, so I came here today to comfort her, but I seem to be faced with an unexpected obstacle to our love. So he's just claiming he's her fiance because her brother died? This guy is scummy. There are some brats in front of her room who won't let me in. Ah, oh, the sea of true love is strewn with the flotsam of despair. Have you ever talked to Jessica in your life? Well, no, actually, she's never actually heard of my name, but she soon will be calling it. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Leave, please. I shall crush the waves of adversity and find harbor in my lady's bosom. You're gonna do what to a bosom now? I see. I see what's happening. I see what's happening here. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. All right. I see. Gragwort is in Dragon Quest Heroes too. My first clothes. Hell yeah. Who the hell is Gragwort? <laughs> what about Mogsworth, huh? All your lives, Mogsworth. Da 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 da. Let's see. He'd be good for me and Yankus. Uh, if I'm gonna continue what I'm doing right now and making Yankus the big kind of tanky dude, I feel like I should give the wafers close to him. But also, I have less defense than Yankus. Let's put it on me. Oh yeah. He wants to find a port. Yeah, because clearly he's lost in the storm. Mm-hmm. That's what he means. This is Greg's word. Alright, this better be the best character ever. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is the best character ever. But only because he's so scrunkly. Big wanted to get Dragon Quest on 4 on your phone, but you guess there's a glitch where the game crashes when Torneko uses a praise? Uh, I haven't heard of that. Weird. Uh, that's how I played- oh, there's a mouse hole here, look at that. Oh, I can expect it, hold on. Let me just break all the pots first, and the barrels. I played Dragon Quest 4 on the- on mobile, and honestly, I feel like that's the way to play it. Because when they translated the DS version, for the most part, it's the same game. But in English, there's only party chat in the mobile game. Oh, look out. It isn't safe here. oh no, there's voice acting. That must mean this is story progress. What is that supposed to mean? I got a mouse in my pocket, huh? You don't like you don't like Munchie? the little thing. <laughs> see? See? Did you see it? Just now? Oh, what am I going to do? Jessica's room is on the other side of that wall. Ah. Oh, you think we're going to send in Munchie to do some reconnaissance duty? Hold on, hold on. Let me just, uh, let me just explore the rest of the place first. I want to go... I bet, um... Lorenz over here talked about the two two guards. Are, is it is it is it is it bangers and mash? I bet it's bangers and mash. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rosalind Talbot. Sadly, my family is currently in mourning. No one is permitted to set foot outside the house. I'm afraid that my daughter is less than happy about this arrangement and has confined herself to her room. She's even asked those boys to stand guard at the door. I'm sure I don't know what's got into her. Uh, probably trying to stay as far away from possible from that guy. Just a hint. Just a hint. Just a hunch. It's a weirdly designed room. It's kind of just sticking out. 
Maybe they fixed it? Hopefully. You look a bit like thieves to me. I bet you are. I'm never wrong neither. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry about before. But not sorry enough that you threw here. I'm under order, see? Jessica says she doesn't want to see anyone. That's fair. That's fair. Well, what if she wanted to see a cute little mousy? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's a hole in the wall. Just large enough for a mouse. Said Munchie through the hole. Oh, yeah, you know we are. Can I control him? Oh! Look at me! Look at it! Look at it! I'm a fuzzy mouse that can ruffle your buns. I'm a little rodent that can do it for fun. A what what? Munchy moment. I can do a roll! This is the best game ever. I can't believe I've gone my entire life without experiencing this. Where am I even supposed to go? I'm just like having fun. Hello? Whee! Na 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 get the money dama she, she's not in here is she Oh you know what she probably said for the kids Yeah she's not even in here She probably snuck out when Oh She snuck out when nobody was looking Do I have to climb this? Oh, oh I think I do Yeah Yeah Go go yeah. Maybe up here Munchy moment <laughs> number one. Oh, good. I feel like I'm gonna have many more to come then. I bet. Yeah. I'm starting to think maybe this is in the way. Alright, uh, maybe I have to drop down from the top. Oh no, can I even climb these stairs anymore? Uh oh. Oh, here we go. This will work. Man, being a mouse comes with such new fun challenges for me. It's like my whole life is different. If it's not this, then I'm guessing maybe there's a prompt to climb up or something. Alright, let's see. The here is where I'm glad that I have orchestrated music. It's so nice. Maybe I'm aiming the wrong way? Oh, okay. I think I'm just slipping off. Maybe if I just hug the wall. Yeah, there you go. Hello? Hmm, yes. Mouse communication. Can Munchie read? It's a letter, take it. Where am I gonna put it? In my little hamster pockets? Just stuff it in my cheeks? Don't quote me on that. You know, it's not that I've re-enabled the quote bot on stream elements or anything. You don't need to use that feature. It is completely unusable. Don't even bother. I've been a good mouse today. Munchie brings over the letter. Anok takes the letter and reads it. I don't know who will find this letter, but please consider it my last will and testament. What? Prosecutor Edgeworth chooses death? But by the time you read this, I will already be gone. I'm going to the tower in the east. I will not return until my brother's death is avenged. Mother, I'm sorry for the damage I've caused to our family's reputation, but this is about something far bigger than tradition. I must follow my heart, no matter the consequences. Please forgive me. And to bangers and mash. I'm sorry for lying to you. I hope you forgive me as well. Signed, Jessica. Uh-oh. I don't know how to quote Gove. Exclamation point quote. Space add space the quote. And that should do it. Excuse me, what were you doing there by the wall? That wasn't a mouse, was it? No, 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 no. It was a munchie. That's completely different. If it was a mouse, then Disney would sue. 
Disney has the rights to every depiction of every mouse in existence, don't you know? I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a hundred years in the future, copyright law becomes that. Like, you know how uh, our, the Conan Doyle estate was like, Oh, Sherlock Holmes has personality? That's a copyright violation! Sherlock Holmes. Now it's like, oh, this is a mouse? Copyright violation. Oh no. Oh no. Should I try to warn Jessica's mother? She's not here. Where'd she go? Oh, bang is mash though. What's up, taters? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's me. He's not in her room! I knew you were dodgy from the first moment I saw you, so don't think you can put one over on me. There's no way she's not in her room, so prove it! Am I a complete thicko or what? You know what? I am pretty thick. I admit it. You're eating at the moment. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Maybe... If something out there killed her brother, maybe, maybe not go alone. Not that I don't think she could take on anybody, but I'm just saying. Revenge is a dish best served with friends. Dude, you weren't kidding. Thanks for the tip. You just came out of the Albert Mansion, right? Yeah. What was going on in there? Was there a smarmy looking man saying awful things to Miss Jessica? I had to dash in and save her if there was. Be her knight in shining armor. Not that I actually have the nerve to do it knowing me. You say he wasn't saying anything particularly awful? No, he actually was. I just don't want him to know about it. Ziak. <laughs> uh... uh, Colonel. Vava Voom? Yeah, Vava Voom. I see. Mm -hmm. Ba da da ba da 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 ba da da ba da da It's kinda You know, it's kinda weird that I'm seeing the same people out and about in different parts of the map with the same dialogue. But at the same time, it's it's got a sense of comfort to it. The fact that I can be sure that, oh, you were the person inside the church earlier and now you're here. Even though they're just generic character models, just the fact that they're, they have the same dialogue makes me think, oh, it's not just a separate spawn of an NPC. It is really the person from here before. I mean, maybe I'm, oh, I did not mean to, oops. Well, we'll just load that file again. Da 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 da! What was nice about Dragon Quest XI, if you mash the B button, it still lets you continue on, assuming that you wanted to keep going. Alright, we keep- we're, we're keeping on going, y'all. We're not- we're not finishing the first stream without meeting Jessica. So I here decree it. Unless we have to go through the dungeon first. We'll see what happens. I don't know, it just feels right. It just feels right. We need a bigger party. King- King Trode isn't gonna join us. Yeah, the great Elba family, Alistair, was murdered. I reckon it was the doing of some thief. Trying, someone's trying to steal the statue of Alexandra. But Magus never heard of him. Hmm. Well, have I been in this house yet? The short dungeon? Alright. Yeah, just considering that it's... That's the first stream of this. It'll be a perfect stopping place. And also, you know, if anybody else happens to be playing this game alongside me, I'll probably have to stream for extra long so that I don't get overtaken. <laughs> oh, jeez, there's no, there's no weapon shop in this town, is there? Oh, no, wait, there are stands in front. Are they mad now? Yes, they are. Cool. Because I, I said back in Fairbury, like, oh, yeah, I'm just waiting to see if I get better items. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Stone axe, so I can axe a question. Here you go, Yangus. New present for you. Yeah. And uh, give me that boomerang too. It's not even just the fact that it's better than the weapon I already have, but it's a boomerang. I need to attack multiple enemies at this point in the game. Now uh, it's time to find out how that works in this game. And let's stock up on healing too. 
I'm close to catching up. How many hours did you play though, Haru? Probably not 3 hours and 41 minutes. I spent the first half hour just chatting too. Alright, I got a Chimera wing. I got 3 already actually. Beep beep. Man, I wish that the map wasn't... You know what? It would be the perfect place to put that screen if I just put it like in the middle. Because then it wouldn't cover the, the gold amount. Six or nine hours? Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess I am making good pace then. Ooh. Ooh. There's some good stuff out here. All right. Uh, I'm already using a shield, so I'd rather have Yangus have a shield. But if I'm going to buff Yangus's defense only, I might as well give him the leather kilt. Because that costs a little bit more, but it's the only thing I can afford right now. There you go. Get some herbs. Herb. Got eight in the bag. Okay, let's give two to me and two to Yangus, and that should be fine, I think. Good thing they're so cheap. The interesting thing about Dragon Quest is that it's rare. I'm about to sneeze. Hey! <laughs> it's rare that you get healing items that are better than the, the base ones. Did I save? I think I just saved. Uh, but now I want to save again because I bought some stuff. Loosen tight, thank you. Danke. Uh, it, it seems the tradition for Dragon Quest is, you, you know, you start with the medicinal herbs and sometimes you get better herbs in some games, but a lot of the times it takes a while and after that, you just don't get better herbs. So you really have to rely on your own magic and resources for healing. And that's how that game is- this is how the game is balanced. It's like... No matter how many herbs you spam to buy, you can always use them to heal outside of battle, but... Using them inside battle may not be the most efficient. Bless you, thank you. You're 8 hours and 23 minutes into the game. Your party's already full. What? What are you? Fox and Boots? Look at these fellas. Fencing foxes, I love them. Look at how fancy they're dressed. Who's their tailor? <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh man, boomerangs are even better than I thought. They attack everybody in this game? Ooh, and we can try the, the Helm Splitter now. But how much, how much does that cost? Five MP? Or no, what is that? Let's see. Ouch. Wow, okay. Dude, boomerangs are good. Let's try that again. Oh! That doesn't take MP? It's just free? Or does it have an HP cost or something? That's just a free move? Yo. That's a cool looking axe, too. Oh, you know what? I have a boomerang right now. I would like cross cutter throw. Oh, but you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't apply anything. So if this is work, if this works how I think it does, if I go to skill points, yeah, I can just keep them. All right, that's perfect. That's what I want to do. Ooh, there's a... What is that? There's a draggy. Physical specials don't take MP. Is that always the case? Was that the case in Dragon Quest XI? I am... I am... It's been a while. I'm not quite remembering. Oh, snap! You know it's Sprinto. Look at this. We're about to meet a pretty cool character, I feel, within the next hour. <laughs> Yo, we got some good weapons, we got some good abilities, this is good. Thanks for the hydrate. 
Dragon Quest 6 doesn't do it? Hmm. It's been a while since I played Dragon Quest. I forget how Dragon Quest works now. <laughs> and each one you know, does slightly different things. How you doing? Welcome on in. We just made it to Alexandria and you're heading out. We just received word that Jessica, this person that we've never seen or met in our lives ever, certainly not in the box of the game. Buffalo Bill? Why does he look like a chicken nugget? Oh, what a fella. What a fella. Ow. Jeez. You just knocked Yengis unconscious. That's rude. How about you don't do that? How about you don't do that? Damn it. What a rude boy. All right, okay. How about I... Ow. How about I leave? Uh-oh. Shit. I think I need to grind a little bit. I think I, think I need to grind a little bit. Great goddess, may you watch over and protect this child. How much money do I have? Um, I'm not gonna bother reloading the save. The game doesn't count your deaths, right? <laughs> I had so little money to begin with, I don't really care about reloading. Oh my goodness, I've lost 70 gold. What a shame. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a big boy. That combo, strong attack plus knock you out, that's mean. Right, let's, let's try that again. Sprint just woke up, gonna get set up and started. Sprint, are you gonna play the PS2 version or are you gonna play the 3DS version? Did you ever figure out that, uh, that link I sent you? I know I didn't really say much about how to install the HD stuff and the orchestra patch, but you know, even just getting this working on Citra is it's just so nice. It does count your deaths in battle records. You know what? You know what? Just for the sake of the stream, normally I'd be, for no real reason, for no real reason, I'd just be just kind of weird about it and reload. But for the sake of the stream, let's see how many times I die over the course of everything. I'll, I'll save every death. Why not? Why not? 3DS? Oh, yeah. Have you played the 3DS version yet, Sprint? I know you played the PS2 version as a kid. I, I took a long time making sure this game was set up to a... Uh, to, to a, a satisfactory degree. I'll let, I'll let you know. Ooh, I could change my human. I could get heal on the Angus. That's worth it. I'll put the rest in axes. Because that attack plus 5 is pretty soon. Oops. Oops. There you go. He's a kind-hearted comrade. You always were, Yengis. You always were. Key moves don't cost anything until later games. Really? I've never noticed that. Why have I never noticed that? I'm not gonna fight the chicken nugget. Not right now. Just PS2. Well, it's gonna be interesting. As you can see, it it, it definitely takes after Dragon Quest XI a little bit with how you see the enemies on the overworld. Makes grinding that much nicer. And you see a metal slime, you go right after that. <laughs> That's for sure. Bang! That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yangus and Mana get heal? When was the last time a thief character learned heal in a Dragon Quest? Let me tell you. Dooba dooba doo, dooba dooba doo. Oops. Oh well, I'm good. Yeah, we need the we need the bulk up. We need the bulk up before we're ready to take on the East Gate or whatever it is. I'm assuming it's eastward. Uh, I'll, I'll come back for you later, Mr. Nugget. Right now, I'm a little, I'm a little sweet and sour. Da 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 da. 
I didn't think there'd be too many enemies that I didn't already see in Dragon Quest XI, but I'm glad I'm wrong. What does it say? I can't read it. What? Slime time! No King Metal Slimes yet. But I don't know how to open the gate! What are the chances that Jessica left it open behind her, huh? Oh man, she would have been in here all night. She left yesterday. No, she left today. Never mind. Or maybe. No, she would have left the night. You gotta explore around the premises of a dungeon. You never know when there's treasure chests hidden around. Yeah, let me let me know if there's ever anything important covered up by the little top the, the bottom screen. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll bring it up whenever I go into like a field or a dungeon. And I'll 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 put the bottom screen away whenever a cutscene starts. Oh no! Nice animation. The door doesn't budge. Seems to be locked. Shoot. She locked it behind her. Does she want to get herself killed? Unless this isn't the... The Tower of Alexandria. Is that where she went? Hmm. Looks like we might have to ask around town. Bye! ba ba da ba da Maybe it makes more sense to save this for next time. I don't know, we're, we're feeling it out. We're feeling it out. It is, it is about to hit the four hour mark. And you know, just to be more responsible, I should start thinking about ending stream at least at the four hour mark. I... It may be a little anticlimactic, but maybe it makes sense to just grind a little bit. Explore, maybe hit the beach. What are you? Look at this crab rave. He's just spinning. He doesn't really care, does he? Hello? I would like to fight you. Pompadour. Can't have a Pompadour. Look at him. He's so happy. The man of war and the yabby. Let me crack that shell wide right open. We're having lobster tonight. Ow. Oh no! I hate this. Well, okay, Yangus wasn't gonna use magic anyway. See if I care. Shoot. I'm not liking how many enemies can paralyze you and stun you and sleep you. It's a little unfair. Well, at least they're attacking Yangus. Okay, stop attacking Yangus, please. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, I'm a flea. Jeez, why does it feel like I'm so underleveled? Okay, you know what? This this is a sign. This is a sign. We'll we'll just grind up a little bit. We'll 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 figure out how to head into the tower and everything next time. All things considered, I think we did a good chunk of stuff in one stream. Oh, here we go. We can read the signs. Fort Prospect. All right, this is definitely getting a little bit of ways away from where we need to be. Bop, 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 bop. Let's just fight our way back. Thinking about the beans. Yeah. You got the day off work sprint? You having a nice little time? I hope you are. Let me know if you... Uh, now, Sprint's been playing some Crisis Core Remake. Not Remake, Remaster. Re-Onion. Re-Onion. The work? Ah. Well, I hope you enjoy your, your time until then. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Five points, huh? But I want boomerangs now. Let's get Crosscutter Blow. Oh, I don't have enough points for it. We'll save it. About the bees. And uh, we were just talking about how to play PS2 Classic on modern screens. And you know, I found my calling. I know exactly what to recommend. 
But you know, it always depends on your budget. You can buy like one of those little $10 adapters that technically use the, the component signal from your PS2. Or you can go all out, get a retro tink. It's the hot new thing these days, right? It's all about what's in your budget, you know? Just as long as you're not using one of those generic composite to HDMI converters, like anything but that. Anything but that. There are better ways to play video games. I I beg, please treat your eyes well. They don't have you know, the game don't have to look so blurry. There are ways. Mars been on during the whole stream, been lurking. Had my audio on, you like my voice. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I'm I'm really I, I really appreciate it. I'm. It's games like this where I can really get in the zone, make little jokes and comments about what's happening. Cause that's I I've said it so many times in my life, but it's what I love about video games that I can get lost in the world and just enjoy myself. Pretend like I'm a person in it who's sarcastic as all get out, but not in the Marvel way where I have to crack a joke every minute. Just in the way where I can really think about the implications of, you know, situations and characters. I just like video games. Y'all like video games out there? I like video games. That man's playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Man. All right. Well, well, we made it back to town. I think I think this is a good place to call for tonight. Maybe like at the beginning of the next stream, I'll grind a little bit more. Not even at the beginning of the stream, but before the stream. Maybe maybe a good point is until I can fry that chicken nugget. And also, I have to figure out how to open that gate. Yeah, what level am I? Uh, according to this, level 8. Yeah, as you can see, I got that little bottom screen sliding in and out. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm really proud of getting it to work like this. I used to have it so one button would slide it in and out, but it didn't really work that well. So now I'm just like, left trigger, right trigger. Left trigger? Right trigger, left, right. And, uh, I'm just gonna admit something. Uh, earlier I had to, I had to test a certain thing, a certain patch. So in order to do so, I had to hack Jessica into the party in the beginning of the game. Uh, I know what level she joins at, so I think I'm actually not too far off. So it makes sense that we're about to meet her soon. That's all I'll say. You got OBS to work like that? Yeah, apparently all you have to do is, like for example, let's, 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 let's take this, right? I have this source right here. All I have to do is right click it, and then there's a little option called show transition and hide transition. If I say make hide transition, I know you guys can't see it, but if I make hide transition fade, I make show transition, uh, luma wipe, not luma wipe, or yeah, luma wipe, sure. Then whenever I hide the source, it does that. Whenever I show the source, it does that. There's there's a whole bunch of tools there, and it's it's so powerful. It's really cool. For the bottom screen, I'm just like whoop, 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 whoop. All right, all right, we're confessing our sins. My sin is the pride of getting that to work on OBS. It's so nice. Oh, connected to my controller? Oh, no. I, you know, if there's a way to make the controller buttons control OBS, then I would like to hear it. What I ended up doing is... You know how Steam has that way to remap controls? I made Steam map those buttons to controller... Uh, to, to, no, controller buttons to keyboard shortcuts. I think I had them on control left and control right on the, on the keypad. So, uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing that. <laughs> Little fade ins and fade outs. Oh, great, a compassionate goddess when he's under the Yeah, 
every day every year i've been streaming for about five years now and you know every year i learn something new about it don't i Mama. Mama. now let me just drop it let me just break it down for y'all let me just break it down all right all right here we go in the olden days of your mighty Erdrake, the noble knight, they used the orbs of light to bring back the light to our kingdom night. And you, as his descendant, are destined to defend it. All right, bring back the light. Oh, Dragon Warrior! I didn't get the lyrics right. I had to think of them, like, in my mind. Rental Floss, you know him. He makes lyrics to video games. He's been doing it for, like, 20 years now. Was it really 20? It feels like it. 15, maybe. But no, yeah, that's not the plot of this game. That's the plot of Dragon Quest 1. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well... We're gonna call for tonight, and we'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. This is why I play RPG streams twice in a row, because I know. I know we're always gonna leave off on some kind of cliffhanger. Might as well, might as well make it right. So, without further ado... I'm going to save state just in case for some reason the save doesn't work. Just, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm always scared when I use emulators. Like, I prefer real hardware just because I know real hardware works like it used to, more for the most part. I just never know with emulators. <laughs> Dragon Quest 3 Remake? I'm just not gonna think about it. At this point, Square Enix has been like two years since they announced it. I know, the more I think about it, the more disappointed I am going to be that it's not out yet. So let's just enjoy old Dragon Quest games while we can. And then Dragon Quest 3. Oh boy, if it comes out this year, I'm screwed. If it comes out this year, I'm screwed. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Gotta go to bed. No problem, Twig. I psyched up a lot. Oh, did I show the... Did I have the little, like, stats? Oh, you know I did. I don't even know how good it is, but you know, it feels like what to do for, for, for bosses, you know? We'll see. We'll see how it, how it works as a mechanic. <laughs> yeah! Mobile game soon? Ooh. Yeah, Square Enix got something up their, their sleeves, don't they? Some kind of mobile game is getting announced soon, and apparently it's like brand new. People are wondering whether it has something to do with Adventure of Die or Dragon Quest Nine or whatever. Let's we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see! You know it's not going to be Dragon Quest X. Not in America, at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, alright. Some kind of RPG, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Alright, you know the deal. If you ever have any stream art for the stream, put it up on Discord or show it to me on social media and I'll put it up. I'm sure there's going to be more Dragon Quest VIII inspired works, especially after we meet some more characters. But for now, we enjoy our time with Yangus while it's here. Thank you for the chicken quest. You're welcome. Everybody have a cozy night as well. You too, Miku, especially. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, you know, I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> and go to sleep if you need to. If you haven't already followed me on Twitch to catch me live next time I play this or any other game, Links are in the chat, raid messages in, is made messages in the chat, you know the deal. And if you're going to sleep, have a good night. And stay clucky, y'all. Bok bok bye bye. Yeah!